Um, what? Oh, you might have to refresh. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Thought we might all uh, enjoy a, uh, a palate cleanser before we get back to the game that we like, that we, you know, review the game that we hate and the character that we hate, specifically because of this character. Hatsune Miku is ontologically evil. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but I agree. Play the world is mine, Joe. No. All right, so. As you all know, something awful happened over the weekend. And of course, we're going to talk about it. Okay, is that working? That's set up, okay. Okay, and it shouldn't be too loud. I'm on 20, oh, it's a little louder than usual. All right, here we go. Isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that, isn't that? <sighs> so, over the weekend, many of you, you know, very, very engaged, very interested, keeping up with it and everything noticed that Mars Nee Senpais was removed from Kickstarter. I know we've been we've been taken down, we've been censored, we've been silenced. But I got to say I can't really blame them. The CEO of Kickstarter themselves called me on the phone and told me that they can't have it on the on the platform because and I quote it's too hot. And I, I gotta say, you know what? I see where you're coming from. I respect it. And I agree. So, officially, Mars Needs Senpai is too hot for Kickstarter. So, sorry. I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know where to go going forward with the Mars Needs Senpai's brand. Um, I don't know what to do. But, you know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Will I get my 50k donation back? No, 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 you won't. Sorry. No, 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 that's not happening. No, no, you got to name a bunny girl. So like, you know, like just because the bunny girl didn't end up in, you know, the game, your transaction was still fulfilled. You got to name a bunny girl, you know, like what was the name again? Anyway, so this is going to be asked a lot during throughout the whole entire stream. So let's just rip the bandaid off right now. Um, are we going to be streaming Persona 3 PC? Isn't that obvious? So, yes. When are we going to be streaming it? I don't know. Am I going to play the male character or the female character? I don't know. Um, feel, feeling pretty bamboozled. Didn't think it would ever happen. And a lot of you may be thinking that maybe I'm memeing because the Persona 4 and Persona 5 streams are some of the most popular ones. And, and you know, great jokes. Great jokes are, are born of them. But may I counter with uh, with this? Um, eat shit. No. Uh, may I counter with two points? Number one, uh, they are extremely stressful to play. They're very, very long games. They're ordeals to stream. 
Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm just not suited for it or if it's just because I have so much stuff going on in my life, balancing stuff like that. Um, streaming can be very tiring for me, actually. And those games tend to have a lot of reading. Um, and reading games are usually some of some of the uh, some of the, uh, the the more taxing ones for me. Uh, let's skip, 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 skip. I don't want to see this. I want to see this. Um, so they 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 can be fairly tiring for me. Okay, but that's fine. Like I I can deal with that. Okay, but also I know that Persona Three is going to be by far the worst one, and I feel like that's going to be more of a slog when it comes to the gameplay side of things than four or five. I would rather play Royal than play Three. Like, I don't think 3 is going to be a good time. Like, I don't think 3 is even going to be a good time in terms of story and characters and shit. Now, if I'm wrong, great. Like, Persona 4 was better than I thought it was going to be in terms of that. Um, and we managed to get some really good jokes on it. And while I prefer 5, I think the stream playthrough of 4 was better than 5. Um, maybe that's because I got more practice being a streamer and everything. But, like, I don't think 3 is going to be a great time. All right, I really don't think so. Um, but you know, we'll do it. I'm committed, in more ways than one. Um, yep, yep. So that's that. All right. So I don't know when we're gonna do it. Um, if anyone comes into chat and asks, "Hey, did he see the Persona 3 announcement? And is he gonna play it? Is he gonna be the the male protagonist or the female protagonist?" Um, What's he going to do? Say that, yeah, he knows about it. Yeah, we're going to stream at some point. Don't know when. Probably after all the voted games. We'll see. It's not even out yet. Um, don't know what, what the protagonist is going to be. That sort of thing. All right? There we go. Will you watch One Piece if it turns out great? No. 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 Roger Ebert himself could visit me in a dream, and I just know it's real, and tell me that One Piece is the greatest piece of entertainment that was ever, you know, envisioned, and I would be like, nah, I'm good. How was life, Joe? I'm exhausted. I don't know if you guys can tell. I had a very rough weekend. I had a very rough weekend. Nothing bad, just very busy, very physically taxing. We had to reorganize a lot of the stuff in the house. Um, some, some of our kids, isn't it amazing that I can say some of our kids, that's something I can say, um, some of our kids have gotten old enough to, to, uh, that we needed to rearrange the room layout on, on the upstairs of the house, so, um, we have a very small house, and it's getting smaller every day for obvious reasons, um, and, uh, yeah, so th that combined with just some horrendously bad sleep for me, uh, I was sick as well, and I thought it was a dream, but then it turned out it wasn't. Like I did, I did, I did. I thought it was a dream that I woke up like shivering and shuddering, and I was so cold, like flu, like in the middle of the night. But no, it, did, it was actually it was real. So I don't know what that was all about. So I was kind of sick over the weekend, um, and uh, like all of Saturday was just nonstop moving furniture, building furniture, collapsing furniture, cleaning up, moving things around. Just it was nonstop, just just sweating like crazy all day. Um, and then yesterday we were going to try and take it easy, but then no, that turned out to be like, no, it was, it was round two, everything else too. Um, so we did that. Um, and obviously moving kids into a different sleeping arrangement is, um, you know, they don't like it, obviously. Like it's, kids don't really like big up, upheaval, uh, tier change. So, um, Lots of crying, lots of having to be a patient parent, which is difficult. Um, so nothing, it wasn't like a bad weekend. It was just a very, uh, very busy weekend. Uh, and then I real, and then coming downstairs after all that to take a break and realizing that Xbox actually did have a good E3 showing this year. And I'm going through and I'm like, what the hell? I could have streamed this and we could have had some fun. Like, the, like I thought E3 was like a nothing this year. And then I come down and it's like, oh my god, all the games ever got announced. And oh, here's, here's Silk Song trailer. And, and, and here's Todd Howard Blowjob Simulator. And, and here's fucking Starfield. And, and oh, Persona. And oh, and it's your birthday, Shepard. Like, 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 what the hell? I don't understand. Like... I was like, shit, I could have I streamed this, and we could have had some fun, and, you know, 
I like money, so like, goddamn, man. All right. Uh, all right. So, uh, let's. I've. I. I'm being rude. We have three new emotes. Um, two are from Anu, and one is from Cryptic, aka Jelly. Um, so Bunny is from Anu, and Hug is from Anu. Thank you, Anu. And Coggers is from Cryptic. Thank you, Cryptic. Uh, JPH, what f? And Foggers died for this. I gotta be honest with you, I'm surprised Foggers was even still on the list considering that was the Persona 4 seasonal emote of Coggers. Um, I don't know, I, I guess I just didn't take it down or whatever. We didn't, we, we had um, slots. Um, I really like all the emotes. There's, there's never really been an emote that I haven't liked. So when, when, I, uh, when I get rid of one, like I feel really bad because I feel like it's missing forever. Um, like I love Danny and I love the what emote, but people just don't use it, unfortunately. And F and, um, where's the, and, and JPH fine. We were supposed to have the, both of those and we we're going to stick with whichever one got the most use and fine just like by a landslide gets way more than F. Although I do see F in chat sometimes with, with like the blown out ghost kind of thing. Um, and Foggers obviously was a, a seasonal, so that shouldn't have been around for, for as long as it was. Um, Yadun surprisingly gets a lot of, um, a lot of use. And, uh, one that is on the chopping block in the future is possibly for real. But, you know, that's a legacy emote at this point. That's been around for a long time. That's one of the, the longest emotes on here. So I don't really want to get rid of for real. I, li I like for real, but you know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, the way that I don't know if uh, like how the stream is going to go with with viewership and and subscribership or whatever, um, but this is probably unless there's a huge boost or when we come back to streaming actual full time instead of like the weird kind of stream schedule on right now, um, unless there's a that that bring, brings brings things up a bit. Um, this is about where we're going to be capped in terms of emotes. Um, like, I already think I'm a, I'm a much bigger streamer than I ever thought I would be. Um, but this is probably, like, maybe we'll get, with a really popular um, um, playthrough, plus maybe, like, some uh, sub-event thing that they do in, like, September or whatever, maybe. Um, like, maybe we could get one or two more. But this is around where we're going to be capped, I think. Uh, like, it's really hard to get higher than this. But I think this is a lot of emote slots. We still have one animated emote slot empty, and I don't know what we're going to put for that. Um, I like the four animated ones we have, and uh, they're very popular. Um, JPH Jam especially is, is just a breakout hit. Um, but I see all four of them used a lot. Someone asked how popular is Pickle Nagito. Surprisingly very popular. And I don't really do Nagito's voice that much anymore, so surprisingly very popular. Um... Torapog is extremely popular. Like that's the most used one, and I can see why. It's 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 a it's a great expression. It it actually literally is just Pog. Um, so I, I think it's a it's a mix of those two. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we'll see. It's a really good Pog. I agree. It's a really good Pog. It's a really good Pog. So many amazing emails. I think we have a really, really good spread of emotes. Sometimes I go, I'm not going to throw shade on anybody because I'm not going to name names, but you know, like so, sometimes I go to um, some very popular, much bigger than me streamers. Um, not the biggest on the platform, but still bigger than me and have been on here for a long time. And I go through their emote list. And I'm like, wow, these suck. Like the, these are really uninspired. They're kind of boring, you know, and they have a lot of emote slots. They have way more than I do. And I go through, I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, you know, 40 different versions of the streamer's face or something. It's like, okay, what? Like, so like a, lo a lot of uh, streamers don't really put that much effort into them, but maybe that suits their stream audience. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I should say this cause it's rude, but I don't really watch a lot of Twitch myself cause I just don't have much time. Um, even occasionally when I was, I haven't watched Northline in a while, but I wasn't even watching Northline on Twitch. I was watching Northline on YouTube. I was watching some of his VODs like um, while I was doing some work and I had him on in the background, um, like React Chord. I think I was listening to him for, for uh, like a couple months back. Um, but yeah, I don't, really, I don't really watch a lot of Twitch myself. Pill me, snail me. But anyway, thank you again, Anu. Thank you again, Cryptic. Thank you very much. 
Um, I wish I had gotten these done sooner so we could have had them for the for the playthrough because uh, they've been done for a while. Like I just haven't been able to answer my DMs and I, there's still a lot of DMs I haven't gotten through. Um, but like it's just just nonstop busy, busy, busy. I know a lot of people are busy and everyone's busy really, but um, I feel like having four kids makes me uniquely busy in a way that uh, there's lots and lots of times where I just I just cannot ignore something going on you know like i have to go upstairs i have to deal with a crisis um yeah which is a good re good thing that um lily is not pregnant right totally not pregnant there's no way that she could be pregnant. Just going to take a moment. Not pregnant. The more I say it, the more real. And, and the more not pregnant she is. It's really good that she's not pregnant. Dead meme. I'm a sim I'm a simple man. Streamer says something I don't find funny. I type dead meme in the chat. Streamer not talking. I type dot 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 in the chat. I see new emote. I post it in the chat. How's the game? So there's a game. There's a game. How's it going, Dragons? Then. How's it going? Okay, no one's talking to me, Dragon's Den. No welcome. All right, I'm going down. All right, so when we last left our hero, uh, it just revealed quite possibly the biggest twist in all of, of the series. And I got to say, I'm here for it. Um, right now, if, um, if this ends well, which it won't, but, you know, let's just, let's just bask in the glory of, holy shit, an anime game did something great. Right now, if this ends well, this will not only be better than Danganronpa to me, it'll be one of the most interesting narrative experiences that I've ever had, period. And, like, that's not hyperbole. Like, I really like, um, when I was a kid, I really liked Choose Your Own Adventure books. Um, I had a few that I would read back and forth. Um, and this is, like, using that in an interactive format. Um, and then it's it's like having it's giving you commentary about the format too, and it's using it very very compelling. I really like this so far. Right now, um, I'm on like cloud nine with this game. Like 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 I'm not kidding. Like this is like like full on like close to ten out of ten tier. Like like that's how I feel about the game at the moment. Even though it had s some slow pacing and there's been some repetition, um, the things that it's doing and how interesting it's setting things up is um is really really enjoyable. Not bait. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. Wow, that's a bad mistake to make there, Joe. Holy shit. I'm not kidding. I really mean it. Like I really mean it. Like I really am enjoying the game a lot right now. Okay, I really am. Um, but like I know that I'm saying this and it's and it's setting up a a, a fun a fun moment later because there's no way it's gonna end well. Unfortunately, um, a a uh, an anime game. It's it's like it's like a, a like a law of Weibo dynamics, right? Like you can't you can't have an anime game that's just good the whole way through like it doesn't happen you know like either either it's like it's like an onion right it's it's an onion or it's or it's a cake full of onions right so it's an onion with a cupcake in the middle or it's a cake with a giant onion in it so it's it starts out great on the outside like a cake and then oh my god onion ugh. and then at the bottom it's like mm, more cake right or it's like an onion where it's like, oh my God, what the hell? I'm eating an onion. And then you get in the middle like, mmm, cake. All right, I like cake. And then you get to the end, you're like, oh my God, we're back to the onion. Right, you know, like that, that's what they're like, right? Right? I think this is a very clear comparison. This is this is very clear. I don't think anyone's going to be confused by what I'm saying right now, okay? Um, so, so you know, w what's this one, you know? Maybe this one is like the rare half cake, half onion, where it's like the first half is cake and then the last half is just onion. You know what I mean? It's it's a new kind of kind of weep game, right? So so there we go, right? Um, so yeah, let's let's see. Let's get back into it. I'm very very much enjoying it. Um, and that twist, in case you weren't here, is that 
Um, it is acknowledging the fact that things are changing. And I don't know if... Can we get into the game? So, if we go here, right? This is where we are. Now, my question to you and to all of society is... If we started a new save right now, and we just went new save, no, back. If we went new save, bomb, 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 would the same thing be happening right now? That's what I want to know. Because if it if it doesn't, if, if I do new save, and it just goes along with normal, then that is, like, mind-blowing to me. Like, how, like, how the fuck did they put that together? Like, seriously. But anyway, let's let's continue. I just made the most rational choice. All right, let's go back to the log. I can't. All right, shit game. I take it back. It's already going off the rails. Just made the most rational choice. The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. I hate you, Alice. Anyone who thinks otherwise is well, an idiot. But this time, I chose Betray, and her vote changed to Ally. Why? What was different? Had history somehow changed because of my choice? No, that was insane. Someone is saying it's just it's just a boolean that, that you flip over? Okay, so, um... On a technical level, yes. But... In a story structural level, and you're looking at the whole experience overall, the amount of planning and the amount of work that would have to go into accounting for each and every choice that the player can make in the order that they can make, and then also respond to it in a way that actually makes sense while not breaking the rest of the story. And I'm not saying that it does that, because maybe it doesn't make sense fully, or maybe there's some contrivance or whatever. That part is mind-blowing. That, that part where it's just like the amount of planning that would have to go into making that sort of thing happen in in a non-linear story in an interactive medium you know is very impressive that's what i mean no that was insane if alice had somehow known that i'd chosen betray and chosen ally in response at least that would have followed the principle of cause and effect but what had just happened was something entirely different there was no way alice could have known what we would choose when she made her decision besides if she had known we intended to betray her there's no way she would have chosen ally in other words she must have made her decision without any knowledge of ours let's say we're talking about a game of rock paper scissors oh well, we already have one of those i throw out a rock right after that alice throws down paper Obviously, I lose. So I go back in time and decide to whip out the scissors this time. Ooh, nice. This time, Alice chooses rock. I lose again, but that's fine because it all because it still makes sense. My actions in the past caused Alice's action in the future. Easy. But what had just happened in the AB game wasn't like that. Let's go back to the innocent game of rock paper scissors. We didn't even leave it. This time, Alice is the one who threw out her hand first. But in this situation, there's no way for me to know what it is, so I decide to go with Rock. Now Alice's choice, Alice's choice is revealed. Turns out she went with Paper. Damn it! I lose, and I'm pissed off. <laughs> the flavor here. So once again, I go back in time to, to try and change history and erase my lo my loss. What will I choose this time? That's not even a question. I'm gonna go with Rock again. Scissors, obviously. Nah, this is not not stubborn enough. After all, last time Alice went with Paper. Here's the important part. When I make this choice, Alice has already made her choice. Sure of my victory, I throw out a pair of scissors. But, what the hell? My rage would be white hot. <laughs> what? Is... <laughs> Alice, you're time jumping, and I'm calling you on your bullshit. That's for me to do, not you. Sick of your shit. You cheat at cheat a, a rock, paper, scissors, Alice. Your shit is whack. How could this have happened? Why? Alice's hand had been paper before, how did it change to rock? Obviously there's no cause and effect here, since Alice's choice was in the past and mine was in the future. How could that even happen? How could the future influence the past? But, it did. It wasn't theoretical now. This had actually happened. What the hell was going on? No, wait, 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 wait. Why the fuck was I talking so casually about going back in time? That kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> okay, that's actually a good point. So, 
yeah how, why does he why does he know this is he just kind of like like boiling boiling a frog he's just kind of being warmed up to it he's like kind of noticing as it goes on that he, he he knows more things than he shouldn't yeah hmm right of course time travel is impossible there's absolutely positively no way no way to travel through time unless and yet but if that was true The best way to minimize risk and maximize reward in this situation is to choose betray. Anyone who thinks otherwise is, well, an idiot. Hey, did you have a stroke or something? Okay, say her own words back to her. Uh oh, sorry. Besides, why do I have to answer your questions? I should be the one yelling at you. Because of you two? I've only got one VP left. Yeah, you're dead soon anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, you're, you're right. Right. What in God's name is wrong with you? I'm sorry. Really, I seriously feel terrible about Forget this. It. I'm never going to trust you or Fi again. Okay, good. All right, we're all we're all even, Stevens. Now you'll pay for this. Sigma Stevens, Alice stormed off. She threw one last hurt, scornful look over her shoulder. She left, and it stabbed me right through the heart. And you're too late. PS5 has no games. <laughs> One of the other teams seem to be dealing with a similar issue. Speaking of PS5, so the Xbox conference, um, Starfield looks okay. The most interesting part of Starfield to me was that you can build your own ship. That might sounds like it could be fun. Especially if you can fill it with a, like a, a crew th with characters that you can actually interact with a little bit. Um, I don't know why they're going like the No Man's Sky route of having a thousand planets. So also I don't understand. If you're gonna have a thousand planets, why not just have like unlimited planets? If you're gonna go that hard on the procedural generation bullshit, why why stop at a thousand? It's like a thousand is too low for for that thing, right? Um, so either that's a that's a sweet little lie, and it's like um, you know 992 of of the planets that you can get to are gas giants. Nee <laughs> that's a lie, and you can't land on them, and it's just eight normal planets. But like um, Bethesda had trouble making like one of the United States into a compelling game in Fallout 76. So. Um, Never mind, like eight planets. Like I, I, th I would be skeptical if they could even do one planet. Well, obviously, there's never gonna be a planet-sized like uh, game that has like a, a dense amount of content throughout the whole entire thing. That's just not. That's just not gonna happen, um, especially with today's level of technology. Um, but like, you could probably make a planet-sized game. Um, game space that would be fun with certain kinds of gameplay just not with Bethesda's kind um I don't know uh man like I'm still probably gonna play it especially if I make a video on it which would be a smart decision but who knows what's gonna be happening down there but yeah it's uh the shooting looked really bad and the guns look kind of weird and kind of clunky and the sights on them looked bad and I know what they're kind of going for for a style but it just didn't look good to me and um yeah, some big No Man's Sky vibes, but it's a, a pretty uh, common take, I think. Anyway, let's continue. That's it. I didn't watch the Silk Song trailer because I don't want to know any more of that before I play it, and I don't think I watched anything else really. All right, one of the other teams seemed to be dealing with a similar issue. I really don't know what I can say. We had no idea you would choose Ally. No way I choose Betray. Not with Clover on the other side. What? What? What do you mean? Do you have an interest in Clover? What? No, uh, that's not... No. What is it then? Well, um... You'd have to be crazy to pick Ally. The only way it'd make any sense to do that is if you really, really trusted the other person. So you're saying you don't trust me then? Duh! Are you senile? Why the hell would I trust some old geezer I just met a few hours ago?
Okay. Ah. Uh, I see. Say no more. Didn't think it'd hurt this much. Okay. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? You're starting to get kind of creepy. <laughs> creepy, huh? I understand. I guess I just haven't had enough time to earn your trust. Um, I suppose you could say that. I just didn't really expect you to be so nice about it. Well, looks like those guys managed to get through this all right. Oh, that we, we caught the tail end of that conversation last time. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Cool. Figure that means the fault here's got to be mine. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it. We only did what anybody else would do. Right, Mr. Dio? Uh, yeah. Exactly. Dio, Quark, and Luna, on the other hand, seem to have resolved things amicably by choosing al by all choosing ally. Man, I already have to pee. No doubt we were all wishing we'd done the same. But why had Dio sounded so awkward? What had happened in the AB room? Only Dio and Quark knew for sure. Zero, when does the next round start? Before stream, I had 500 milliliters of water, um, a can of iron brew, and a coffee. So, like, I drank probably more than a liter of liquid like within an hour before the stream and I didn't pee so that's why I need to pee zero it is less than next round start what makes you think we'll be having another round well you said round one if there's a round one then there's likely a round two besides didn't you say the goal of the Wow, this is um, this is going on for a while. Okay, so is this the first time that we have done? It is. It is the first time that we have done um, a, a second route uh, in the second round of um, forks. So I don't know if these conversations are going to be the same. Uh, they probably are mostly going to be the same. So we'll see. Okay. How could Temioji be jumpy, man? How could Temioji be jumpy? How? It can't be Santa. It can't be Snake. It can't be Seven. It can't be Ace. So it has to be jumpy. It could just be someone else from her life, but it already feels to me, and I don't know why, it just really feels to me that the, the dead woman is June. The, the second I saw her, on the first time that we saw her, I didn't say it because if I was right, like, I don't want to be like, I, I don't want, sometimes I feel like my, my wild guesses are, are, are too unbelievable, but I just intuitively feel things sometimes, and I, and now it's like there's more evidence piling onto that now. Maybe not. I don't know. This is... Why are they old? Are they in... Did they set it up again? Doesn't seem like it. 
I thought for sure Clover would be a robot, and that would explain why, but like, is he being sentimental? And he's like, even, even a robot Clover. Even though you're a robot Clover, I'm not gonna betray you. <sighs> and a grandson named Quark? What? What year is it? What the fuck is going on? Did, did June set the whole thing up again and, and kidnap in, him into a room and then stood there and explained everything that was going to go on? And then she's like, and then she pulls out a knife and is like, and I need to make it real for you, Jumpy. So, 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 you know, you need to save me again. So let's make it real. Stab myself in the chest. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now you're going to have to do it, Jumpy. You don't have a choice. I'm dead again. Like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, like what the fuck is going on? But then Quark and Alice want to want to stab themselves in the chest too. Is there some like self chest stabbing disease that is that is spreading around? Oh no, you got the the chest stabbing disease. Fuck. Anyway, let's just keep going. He doesn't really act like Jumpy. Oh, hey Sigma. Hey Fi. Can I get you a seat? Is this the same shit? Yeah, okay. Thank you for the gifted subs, what no longer hollow. Thank you very much. Oh, oh, new shit. All right, what are you doing here? Still mad, huh? Obviously. Ooh. Oh, come on now, you don't have to get your panties in a bunch. That's easy for you to say, Dio. You're sitting pretty at 5 BP. Temioji and I only have one. You do understand what that means, don't you? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You know what else? That's no reason to take your anger out on people. You won't get your BP back by being a jerk to him. Nah, I don't get... Am I wrong? I don't get any jumpy vibes from him whatsoever. No jumpy vibes. But like, if he actually has age, he's like, what? Pushing, pushing 70, I think they said? Like, it's been like 50 years. So, you know, is, I think the question is, is 50 years enough time for an anime character to have character development? And I really don't think so. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I really don't. What's this? <laughs> You're gonna take his side? I thought you of all people would agree with me. I do. No, you don't. You don't get it. Why would you care? You got what? Maybe five years left? Maybe less? I'm not like you. I'm still young. I Whoa. want to live a long life. There's so many things I still want to do. Like what? Well, let's see. Can we skip this now? Oh. Yeah, we did this already. I don't give a shit about Alice. The clue quarters. I see. The casino. Right. Later, bro. Bro. Head out of the infirmary. Ooh, we can't skip this one. Bro, I instinctively hate anyone oh, who calls Sigma. me that. I, I say bro uh, often, actually. I call the kids bro. Which is kind of weird. Oh, Leo Leo coined a word. I'm so proud of him. Leo coined a word. Um, I don't know if he actually coined it or if he just didn't want to admit that he was wrong and he just went down on the ship. So either way, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of him. Um, so uh, he we were playing Gungeon and he said that an enemy was terrible. Terrible. Her all right. So I said, "Do you mean terrible?" And he's like, "No." And I'm like, 
do you mean horrible? And he's like, no, I mean terrible. And I was like, all right, what does terrible mean then? And he's like, something is terrible. It means it's gross. That that enemy is gross. It's terrible. And I'm like, okay, terrible. It's an terrible enemy. So there you go. So that's just something I'm gonna say for the rest of my life now, I guess. Terrible means when something is gross. Like this hat is terrible. Oh, Perfect Sigma. Timing. You were in the crew quarters before, weren't you? <laughs> what is that? Alice is hair. True, true. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Finn has started saying true. True, true. That's true. Yep. Just, just wonderful. All right. So in this path, there's a bomb. Interesting. I feel like there could have been a better way to do this rather than skipping it over, but yeah. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Hey, the doors are open. We need to figure out who's going to go through which door. <laughs> uh, what are options this time? Pay attention. This time? I'm only saying this once. Just like the last time, we've got three possible combinations. If I quickly laid out our choices, isn't Alice going to say something like, you know, the the ones with the least points should be choosing? Option A, Luna and I yellow pair up with Clover, Cyan, and go through the green door. Temioji and Dio, Magenta pair up with Alice yellow and go through the red door. K and Quark, Cyan pair up with Phi, Magenta, and go through the blue door. Option B, Luna and I yellow pair up with Phi, so we move Clover or Phi. Can we go with Dio? We haven't gone anywhere with Dio yet. Alice. Alright, well, that's not happening. Temioji. Three minutes remain until chromatic doors close. <laughs> New here. Joe kid count? I have four kids. Okay, how do we want to do this? Well, you decided the first time, right? <laughs> then can I decide this time? No. I think Why I you? deserve it. I only have one BP left. Doesn't it seem like the fair thing is to let the person who's at the greatest disadvantage choose? No. Wouldn't you agree? No. I don't agree with that. No. That means you should get to choose too. I mean, you've only got one VP, right? You've got a point. But how about we listen to what Alice wants first? So tell us, which door and which people do you want? I'm so fucked off with this. Would they put a character in the game that, that you wouldn't know that Clover's supposed to know and then do that shit? I guess maybe? If it wasn't for the, like, for whatever reason, I just look at that dead woman and think, Junie, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be thinking this at all. I would, what would, no, would I, what would the conclusion I would come to? Would it be that this is someone from outside that she know? Maybe I would be going with that. Fuck. That would be so unsatisfying if it was just, oh, it's just someone else that you don't know. But I guess they could make it. Uh, like, I'm still hoping that, that Kay takes off the suit and it's like, who the hell's this? All right, let's keep going. Sorry. The green door. And I want to go with Kay and Quark. Oh, good. All right, I agree with this. I see. Option B, then. That means Tenmyoji and Dio will go with Clover through the blue door. Is that all right with you, Tenmyoji? Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Why? If we go through there together... That means you'll be playing against me in the next AB game. Are you really, really sure? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Matter of fact, that's why I want to go with you. Okay, that had some jumpy vibes. You said you didn't trust me, right? Well, I'd like to change your mind. I figure this will give me the chance. Um... I've been wanting to pair up with Alice, too. 
There's something I want to talk to you about. Oh, and that is? We'll get to that later. Okay. Anyway, Alice's first choice would be option B then? Yes, I guess. What about the rest of you? Is that okay too? I thought about it for a moment. If I went with option B, then Luna and I would go through the red door with Fi. As far as I felt about, th about that. Wait, I can say no? No. Oh, this is actually a choice. Oh shit. Um, I'm actually I actually am okay with it. Hold on. Let me, let me go back. I want to reload it. How do I reload? Quit. I actually I actually am okay with it this time. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Any problems with it? There were no objections. Then we're all set. Let's go, everybody. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. We nod quickly to one another and split up. Kay, Quark, and Alice headed for the green door while Temi, OG, Dio, and Clover ran toward the blue one. My feet slapped against the hard metal of the warehouse floor, and Luna, Fi, and I ran to the red chromatic door to end the next stage of the Nonary game. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. What do we do for the bet then? <laughs> um. I mean, I didn't think that no would be an option. I thought it was just going to kick me out, and I just want to see the dialogue. So I was actually okay with it. So I, th I think yes is the uh, is the winner there. I didn't even know there was a bet. Huh, is this a dead end? All three doors seem to be locked. Yeah, looks like it. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. Let's start the casino. It's got a lever. Try pulling it, Sigma. What sh why it should might I? Be dangerous. Maybe it'll trigger an explosion, or possibly it shocks you when you pull it. First, there was an explosion. Who knows? Right. Then I have no choice. Did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? There's nothing on either side, What's is there? That's supposed to mean. Uh, sorry for the confusion. I was talking about your breast. What? <laughs> what the? What? I don't even understand. I don't I don't even I don't get it. Is this some sex joke? I'm too virgin to understand. What 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 is this? It's called dressing modestly. I'll have you know I'm a C cup. If you're a C cup, I'm packing 12 inch. Where, where is this coming from? Did, did it hear me that I said I was really enjoying it and it was pretty good the whole way through and it was like, holy shit, hold my weeb beer. Here I go. Like, I don't... People in the chat are saying, Joe, she's flat. I don't... What does that got to do with anything? How did we get here? What does her being flat have to do with any fucking thing? Like, how do, are we just suddenly talking about her boobs? Hold my sake, yeah, hold hold my sake, here we go. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't I, I'm reading it back like over and over and over again. It's like it's like the hardest puzzle in the game. How did how did we get from here? To, did you really think I'd say that, you heartless monster? I don't understand. It's like, oh, oh, you you were talking about the lever. I was talking about your boobs. La my oh, like I don't. What is this? Ooh. 
We continued in that vein for some time until... Oh, okay, that's good. What? Huh, what? <laughs> it sounded like you two might take a while, so I pulled the lever. Thank you. Is that okay? Is that okay? Only the one on the left opened. It's because she's saying she has no heart. She's not saying that, though. I don't get this. All right. The others are still shut tight. Let's move on. Get going anyway. I'm kidding. Let's go back and read it again. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Ooh, new room. Okay, interesting. I thought it would be repeating runes by now. What is this place? It looks like some kind of control room. Flip the pronouns. Sigma is saying that Phi has a heart. Why, why do we have to do reading, word flipping acrobatics to understand this exchange that just leads to a like a, a, a boob and a dick joke? Okay. I can see a huge machine of some sort on the other side of this window. Maybe a generator? Right, well, let's split up and look we around. Cards with the moon on them for the next AP game, right? It's true. It's pretty true. Yep, they're probably in this room somewhere. Let's get started. Okay, I want to see something. I want to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe? Hmm. Maybe there's more even on that. Maybe some that don't have a golden file. Hmm. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. You have to do an escape room sometimes. Shit. Oh, man. All right. God damn it. Alright, 240, 210. What the fuck is this shit? What's this? It's got all these pipes. Look at the look at the black and yellow lever. Well, if we need some pipe, I have one we can lay. It says power under it. Do you think that this tubing has electrical cables in it or something? Maybe flipping these levers will just change the amount of electrical current. What would that accomplish? I don't know. Well, I'm guessing the power lever is the source. Hmm. Might as well give it a wait. Don't get ahead of yourself. Look at the three tw the 320. Yeah, it's true. Oh, the lever is missing. Without a replacement lever, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. All right. Thank you, Lily Belt. Off, on, off, on, off, on. Okay, so we have to put something over this to show... On, off, on, 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 off, 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 on, on, off, 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 on, off, off, on, off, off, snow. Well, you'd have to read the whole thing out loud. Look, there's a hole in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. The locker and the ones, like the one, looks like the ones in the crew quarters. Is there a bomb here, too? Even the puzzle panel looks similar. Let's figure out how this works first. Okay. Um. Nope. Damn, I don't get it. There are four spots I need to fill. If I put in the right numbers and press enter, it should unlock. I don't know what the number's supposed to be, though. This locker looks like one of the crew quarters. Even the puzzle panel looks similar. Okay. Um. So. Time? Hour, minute? Hour, minute? So, 12, zero, 12, zero. OK. 
Okay, we need to get the code somewhere. Ooh. 512 minutes of blue clock. It says 500, 510 minutes on... Did I say 12? 510 minutes on the face. That's a long time. That's true. It is a long time. Okay, so if, if we were to... Uh, uh, convert this into into hours and, and minutes it would be well we don't have a calculator so it probably doesn't want us to do that right it would be 510 divided by 60 um, and then whatever's left over now I could usually do this in my head but you know what let's not let's uh, pull out my old trusty calculator eight zero zero eight one three five <laughs> All right, so it's eight, eight and a half hours. So five, five, ten equals eight hour and thirty men. All right, so is that actually one of them? I don't know, but we'll see. Is that a compass? Oh, it is a compass. It's up here. A compass. One leg has a needle. The other leg has a pencil. Do you think we can find another tripod in here? Do you think we're supposed to use this or something? No. Well, I usually use a compass to draw circles. Where should we draw a circle, though? On a piece of paper, I would assume. How big of a circle? Hmm. I don't know. If we had an angle to set the compass to, that might help. Okay. So, um, some some Joe lore for, lore for you. Um, I can't really use a compass all that well. I don't know if it's because, like, any time I've put a... Uh, I use it with a pencil or anything. It's just not sharp enough or whatever. But I feel like whenever I, I try to turn the compass, it just doesn't e either like the needle point cuts into the paper or something or like it's like the, 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 the table's not flat enough or like the pencil kind of like breaks halfway through or something. Like I, I always have a lot of trouble um, using a compass. These ones are better protractor compasses are hairable i agree yeah they're pretty gross pretty gross whoa a protractor haven't seen one of these in a while haven't done haven't seen one of these in a while great ruler you remember what they're for right you use them to figure out angles if there's a red line 30 deg 30 degrees away from the 90 degree mark what's it mean maybe it's telling you to set some angle to, to 30 degrees oh man let's let's measure luna's angle and tell her she's acute these look promising. Let's see here. Damn, can't understand any of this. Is some kind of code? None of these have anything useful. So much for that. A cardboard box filled with complicated machinery. Do you think we can use it? I don't even know what it is. Some cardboard boxes, more machinery. Some papers are filled with incomprehensible code. All right. Uh, that's a lot of seconds. All right, that's a lot of seconds. All right, let's go, let's go through it. All right, so. Okay, one one four Le divided by sixty gives us one hundred and ninety minutes. Divide by sixty again gives us uh, three hours and one point six 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 six. Repeating, of course. So that is three hours and like roughly fifteen minutes. Like, no, it's not it at all. That's not it at all. It would that would be for twenty five. Um, it would be fifteen fifteen thirty fifteen thirty again. It would be just over ten minutes, twelve minutes? Twelve minutes ish? A little less? Something around there. Around around there. Is it ten minutes, really? Fifteen. Oh it is! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, it is ten minutes. Yeah, I'm dumb. Ten minutes. It is. Not exactly, but around ten minutes, yeah. I think that's right. Alright, let's go see if this this works. So blue and red. Blue would be. Boink. 
Why was I reading chat throughout that? All right, eight hours, 30 minutes. Eight, so plus eight, 30. And then what's the other one? Uh, three hours and 10 minutes. Three and 10. Yay! Is there even a 12? You did it, it unlocked. So you can open it. No, there's not, I would have been fine, okay. Rainbow tree rot, hmm, that's terrible. Well, those are some tense colors, what is that thing? Looks like a root system for a tree. What, come on, no tree has rainbow roots. Well, they do now, I don't think it looks like that naturally. They're probably painted. Who would paint some tree roots? It's pretty ugly, I agree. So what am I supposed to do with it? I'm I'm sure it'd make a delightful souvenir, but I don't think it'd, it'd make it past customs. I'm sure it'd make a delightful souvenir, but I don't think it'd make it past customs. Maybe you're supposed to put it somewhere. Like, well, on the machine, perhaps. There's a machine? So there's a few different books here. Got some sort of dense technical thing and a novel. Hmm, this doesn't look like there's any clues here though. Okay. Cover boxes. Looks like the control panel. It's covered with screens and buttons and so on. Looks like it's on the control panel. Okay. T. Test. A laptop. It's got something on the screen. It's the letter T. Huh. Did you see the thing plugged inside the laptop? Yeah, it looks like a memory stick. All right, so T-E-S-T. -E All right, so different colors or clipboard with a piece of paper that says test on it. Look at this. Test was written in a high with a highlighter, wasn't it? Yeah. Each letter is a different color too. So do you think that letter T you're seeing on the laptop might be an image captured by a scanner or something? Uh, what do you mean? Sometimes scanners don't pick up stuff written with certain colors of highlighter. Maybe this one didn't like, like the blue, yellow, or pink highlighters. And that's why we only got one green tea. Can't be sure, but it seems pretty likely to me. Uh, no, I disagree. I really disagree. Okay, and these are the same colors as this. Green, blue, yellow, purple. Yeah, looks like it, okay. I don't think this is a memory card. What? Unless it, I miss my guess, it's actually a portable scanner. See, there's a thin slit on the end. Just wave that part over any images or text you want to want to scan. What's going on on the screen right now? Then you just plug it back into the laptop and look and look at whatever you scanned. Neat. Okay, that's really weird. Let's combine it. Okay, we did it. All right, this is gonna take a while, huh? The screen changed. Do you think it's because you pulled that thing out? I wanted to look at the screen. Oh, the screen's blue now. This is. Hmm. Looks like the looks like a password. You think this is the panel is safe? No, that's way too easy. Moon, moon, star. I assume so. Ooh. Password should open. Looks like it's the same too. Moon, moon, star. What? Piece of kake? You got the gold file. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. No, I just want to. I want to. Okay, I want to look at it. Do you think this picture was taken with a laptop camera? There are two bundles of folded cardboard boxes, just the ones behind us. Hmm. Um, look at the space between the box on the left and the wall. Is there something there? Yeah, there is. Let's go take a look. But, but so hold on. We need to see this through the camera before we would be able to move it. Wait, hold on. What? Here? PP bands. Rope made of polypropylene. Uh, you don't want to use that kind of rope. No. Just cotton or hemp. These are the boxes we saw on the laptop screen. Okay, let's try moving them. Shit. 
All right, this piece of paper has four rows of four-digit numbers. The color of each digit seems to be random. Green, blue, yellow, pink. They all look like highlighter colors. Hmm. Highlighters, you say? To shreds, you say? Look at the screen. Huh, it changed. Seven, two, one, three. All right. Seven, two, one, three. Seven, two, one, three. Seven, two, one, three. Okay. Wait, I want to look at that. Huh? That's weird. It's a piece of paper numbers on it, right? It's only showing four digits, though. Well, if you read them in the direction of the arrow, then we've got seven, two, one, three. All right. Pretty sus. All right. No. Darn. 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 So the control panel, let's cover screens and buttons and so on. Control panel. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is where you put the roots. <laughs> This thing is huge. I would guess it's used to analyze things. It looks like it's missing a part though. Wait, Sigma, I think you've got the missing part right here. This? Hmm, I think I put the rainbow colored root here. I don't want to though. All right, big Subnautica vibes. A rainbow colored root. We put it on the machine, what do we do now? Okay, uh, you hit a button. Hmm, this doesn't feel right. I think we're missing something. Nah. That's a tall screen. I don't think it's turned on. Maybe we can get power for some reason. All right, how, how on earth did we just get the golden file already i don't understand all right so can we scan this or can we only scan things that are in our in our thing all right oh okay hold on you know putting the compass seal in the hole yeah the compass isn't spread though i don't think you can draw a circle like that oh all right so let's let's uh let's combine it with the thing though all right here we go she has on and off written a bunch of times Tiny hole. All right, so just put the compass seal here. Interesting. Off, off, on, off, off. Okay, so these correspond to um, the thing over there. So we can overlay it maybe. Um, I, sh I probably want to write this and ha overlay it over there. So let's just do it right now. Off, 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 off. That's an amazing zero. On. Off. On. Okay, does the, uh, like, the style of the letters, does that matter? Okay. All right, so. 7213. 7213. All right, so 5 plus 2 is 7. Uh, two plus zero is two. One plus one multiplied by zero is 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 one clearly, right? I know math now. Um, so how do we get one? Uh, two divided by two is is one. And what's the other one? Three. Three. Uh, two plus one is three. Yeah, we did it. Does that have multiple solutions? Oh, excellent, unlocked. Good work, now open it up. No, I don't want to. What is this thing? It's pretty big. Maybe you're supposed to wear it like a crown. Why the hell would I do that? Well, it could be part of the machine. If it is, you probably need to attach it to something. I'm a nursense. Room colored root, put it on the machine, what do you do now? All right, can we just, can we take it off? No, okay, this this is clearly for this, right? Clearly for this. Huh, looks like it would fit, here we go. Okay, there we go, all right, cool. We just have to click down here to put it up there for some reason. All right, rainbow colored root. All right, so now we hit the button. The tall screen, nothing on it. Okay, still no, so I thought we would have found the thing by now. What are we missing? 
Perfect, now you attach the missing part, it should work. Wait, something's not right. What's wrong? I press the power button, nothing's happening. Maybe it doesn't have enough power, it's always something. Alright, well shit, where do we get that? Did we just miss it somewhere on the floor? Does it start though? Does it start here? Does it start at the top? Does it start at the left? I thought for sure this would be for the um for turning the 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 levers on and off on the other side. Does this just come off? Hey, I think you can move these. Oh, you're right. It says off on top and on the bottom. Hmm. Yep. Sigma, what are you doing? Don't break it. Oh, no, it wasn't me. It just fell off. It wasn't me. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, it's off, so no point in carrying over sp spilt levers. Maybe we can use it somewhere else? Like where? The casino! There's a lever here. It probably seems to be maybe useful. Useful? Yeah. Okay, cool. Just put it here. Good. There we go. All right. So this is gonna. Oh, perfect. Look! Look how much it matches up. Oh man, how awesome for us. Okay. So, um, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So let's just just pull levers and see. So we should do this thing. I found a manual on the floor over there. Of course you did. It says that this machine doesn't really use electricity in a conventional way, huh? Those tubes use some kind of special liquid to transmit electricity. What? Actually, it's pretty complicated. The simple yellow, the simple version is that you can adjust the voltage by adjusting the flow of the liquid. So let's say you turn that rightmost lever all the way to the left. If you do that, then all the liquid coming from 240 will go to the left tube. Turn it all the way to the right, and it go, it all goes to the right tube. Okay. What if you put it in the middle? Fucking nothing. Then it gets halved. Each pipe will end up with 120 instead of one getting 240. So what's the deal? So what's the deal with the question marks? I don't know. Those represent unknowns in the target values. The one with the three question marks means that it's supposed to be a three-digit number, while the ones with only two mean those are two-digit numbers. Oh, so it, it flows downward. Okay. So is is the the ones just gimmies or no? You can't turn them off. There's no on or off. Okay. I have no idea what the hell. I have no idea what the fuck that thing is for. I have no clue. What 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 like. What is what is this for? Oh well. It means the value is a single digit. What about the one that starts with three? Well, I would guess that means that I guess that means the hundreds digit has to be three. So question four qu question four question means that the ten digits has to be four, and question question five means one digit has to be five, right? Yes, I think so. So let's see if I got this. We need to adjust the levers so the liquid gives us the right numbers on the bottom. That's correct. Once you've gotten the levers all set. Then I think you pull down the lever like this. Ah, makes sense. I think that's about covers it. Oh wait, one more thing. The liquid will only flow from top to bottom. The manual is very specific about that. Okay, let's do this thing. All right, not a bad puzzle. All right, so that has to be one, which means that this has to be very heavily, heavily split, right? Wait, can I turn it now? I can, all right. All right, kind of annoying that th this is the way they do it. All right, so for this to be one, well, can it be zero? 320 cut in half is 160 cut in half again is um 80 so it can't be so that has to be zero so this is a zero digit right gotta be right so the question is um like this could go to the right because that is three digits but it has to be a four so they can't both go to the right. They both both go down here because then that would be a six. But if we put this in half, then that would be also a six. But if we put them both in half, 
No. So it has to go... That has to go to the left. But then this would get zero... This would get nothing. So it can't be that. I'm wrong. So if this goes down here... Oh, this one comes down here too. Sorry. So right now that would be... This has to be two. So if I cut this in half... Sorry, if I sent the whole thing down here, 240 would become, it would still be 240, it'd be 120, so it can't be that. So this has to be cut in half, because it has to be due. So that's that set in stone forever. All right, so that's that's how that is. Okay, so that means um, 120 goes down here and gets split in half, which becomes 60. So 60 comes down here, and then if we, if we send half down here, 160 plus 60, is 220 so that's not it what if we send it and we send it all down here that's not it either i'm not doing this well oh the half is coming from here too oh shit okay that changes everything god damn it okay hold on let me let me make some notes all right let's let's um do we need this on and off thing no so 240 becomes oh we're running out of room if only there was an eraser okay so that becomes 120 plus half of it again is 60 plus half of 320 is 160 right so 0 so 14 240 all right so that actually works all right that actually works all right so the, these are done okay so now can we do these so 240 plus half of half of 210. All right, so to get a five, it would seem to me that you would need to send half of it down here. So what if we just send this down here and nothing's going down here, so this one doesn't matter. Is that it? Am I done? Is this the end? this done yeah there we go okay cool yes i'm the champion look i turned the power on that was pretty good i like that look look it's fucking nothing fucking nothing on my oh it's moving looks like it's finally ready but ready for what well We refuse this, I'm guessing. This is the screen? Yeah, I think I think. Alright. Again? I think I got it. This machine is a C CT scanner. You mean like from a hospital? Yes. One of those things that can take pictures of cross section of your brain and organs and stuff. Yes. It can image things other than the human body too. Science is rad, huh? Like this route, for instance. Hmm. So what we're seeing on the left is a slice of that route. What is this fresh horse shit? Yeah, I think so. What are we supposed to do then? I think trial and error is going to be the best way to figure this one out. Just start messing with it and we'll see what happens. All right. Dragging up and down where the where the image of the root is displayed will allow you to scroll between layers. The bottom layer has eight circles of different colors. Four of those circles are blank. Assign an appropriate number of each circle. The yellow circles are, are electrified. The blue ones have piranhas in them. The orange are orange scented. Piranhas really like oranges though, so they'll leave you alone. If you're in the numbers that you can use are displayed below the cross section, you can move the numbers where they need to go by dragging them. Here goes nothing. Oh. What's the on off for? All right, is that it? Are we done? 100.
Okay. 21 at 19 is 40. Add 15 is 55. Add 12 is 67. So we need 33. Can we get the 33 with, with four numbers here? So 10, 19, 27, 33. Okay. <laughs> All right, we did it, huh? Looks like I got it. You sure did. That's amazing. Good work. Oh, look at that. The color change. Who are one? Have a look, Sigma. Moon star sun, moon star. I knew it. You've seen the past on this floor, haven't you, Luna? Yes, in the AB room in the infirmary. It opened the safe, right? Yeah, okay. Moon star sun. Oh, that puzzle was really easy. I don't know who we're fighting. All right, moon star sun. This game's so easy. All right, here we go. Yes, it opens. Okay, let's get our prizes. First we got a map. It says floor B. The one we found in the crew quarters said floor A. So did the so did the one in the infirmary. Hmm. Came down here using the elevator, right? So that would make A the top floor. Seems weird. Don't the numbers usually count up from the bottom floor? Well, looks look, look at this way. A for above, B for below. Why doesn't why does that seem ominous? Whatever. Moving on. Our next prize is, let's see. Key cards. They have a moon on them. That means these are the moon cards the announcer was talking about. Now we can play the next AB game. They gave us two, just like the ones with sun cards. I'm so let's take one and find with you guys, right? Yeah, sure, go for it. We got two other things left. I've seen one of them before, but this one. It's some kind of input device. It's a day planner. It has a keyboard on it and a cable connected to the top. I can worry about that later. Might as well take it with us for now, though. Okay, and finally. The key. We can get out now. Yeah, I should unlock the exit. Okay. All right, we did it. No more screwing around. Let's move. I wonder what this room was anyway. Oh, you didn't notice? Notice what? The thing on the other side of the glass that kind of looks like a metal octopus. I think that 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 maybe that's an an, an annihilation reactor. Annihilation? You mean, like that bomb? The bomb? Yes, the core of the Annihilation bomb would work on the same principles. I think Fi knows a lot more about these things, though. Well, I wouldn't say that. I just picked up a few tidbits of information here and there. Tidbits, huh? If it is what Luna thinks, it should be pretty simple. There's going to be a bunch of matter and antimatter in there, probably hydrogen and antihydrogen bumping into one another. Oh, shit. Uh, when they do annihilate one another, that's where you get the name and release a bunch of energy. Sorry, when they do, they annihilate one another. You can actually calculate how much energy by taking the mass mass defect and who are you? See, now, in any other media, I would be like, okay, so Phi must be some sort of scientist to know this shit. But, because it's this game, she could just she could just be a waitress. And she, she just knows, you know? Like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're the only ones here that don't know this. Gas, yeah, stop. Too complicated. You're saying that octopus thing is a machine that runs off annihilation energy, right? So it's an annihilation octopus. Well, machine is a weird way to put it. No, I didn't say that. It's more like an engine, like a steam engine or an internal combustion engine, just better. All of the electricity in this facility is generated by Mr. Octopus. <sighs> I love anime. So that would make this room. Yes, this is Mr. Mr. Octopus's control room. It's his bedroom. Okay. I guess it doesn't really matter what the octopus is at this point. We're all done with this room. We got to, all we got to do is insert the key. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. I agree. Three, two, one. An ambidex gate has been opened. Forty-five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes.
Okay, that didn't take long. Huh? What's going on? Maybe someone from another team opened one of them. Miscalculated. They must have found a moon card. Well, why the hell would they just go and open one of the doors on their own? We should get back upstairs. Whoever jumped the gun is probably in the warehouse. Right. Okay, let's go. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of Sigma, Sigma, son. Yeah. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but on, but on, bomb, not move this time we left out of the magenta door and into the warehouse there stood temio gdo and clover hey what the hell is this why'd you open one of the ab rooms before the rest of us come back Dio didn't feel like waiting, I guess. <laughs> you got a problem? Yep. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but the others could still be stuck somewhere. What if they can't get back in time? No sooner were the words out of her mouth. Oh, thank goodness. You're all here. Did something happen? Yes. Alice is dead. It's Quark, you see? He... What? What happened to Quark? He collapsed. <laughs> Not again! And so suddenly, we were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. This condition could change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. You go. Temioji shoved K aside and leapt through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks and ran after him. Alright, so I can kinda see like J U M. How do we get it how do we get a P? I ten Jo Jomi! I ten Jomi. How is it not that? Quark. Quark. Come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Okay, is this um s s stolen scalpel line? You mean in the control room? All that had was a bunch of stuff for controlling the generator. Hold on, what? Yeah, okay. I don't think anybody would put medicine there. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of the sort in the archives. Books and so on in abundance, but no medicine. Oh, God. Then he's... He's going to... Oh, God, no. Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? Some place called the Bee Garden. Smile. It was kind of like a park with trees and stuff. Yeah, no medicine. Maybe some medicinal plants? Temioji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. And then, Phi. Quark? Quark! Oh, thank God. You're awake. All right, we don't need to do this again. Oh, someone's upset. Right, who took the who took the scalpel this time? I'm gonna guess. Oh, it was Alice. Okay. All right. So last time we found her in the garden. No one here, huh? 
This is different. Damn, where did she go? No point in complaining. I just needed to look somewhere else. I turn and head toward the exit. Okay, it's going to be different this time. Do, 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 do. I think skipping these is the right call, right? I think everyone, like, if you haven't been here for the earlier streams, you're gonna be lost anyway. I think we all remember most of it. We should just be skipping through, right? Like, yeah? So, cool thing about this is that, um, it's somewhat similar to the idea I have of making a, a Danganronpa style game of my own. Um, it's not too similar, so I'm, I'm happy about that, because otherwise it would be like repeating a, a lot of concepts and shit. But um, the idea I have in my head for for a, a killing game kind of thing is... Um, so, oh, this is a new room. Is, is somewhat similar to this. In structure, at least. So this is the ar archives, huh? K, Quark, and Alice search this room. New room. I'm just gonna have to hire a consultant to, uh, to you know, just salt and pepper the script with um, uh, out of nowhere sexual references and advances. That's apparently very important. Just, just out of nowhere, we have to have like, oh, sorry, you know, you've too much plot in the scene. You have to talk about some boobs and dick for a little bit. Like, oh, okay, sorry. You know, here we go. Damn, nothing here either. This room's cool. We need to find her quick or she's going to do something bad. If she loses like loses it like Quark did and nobody's around to stop her. Shit, I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Clover, Temioji, and Dio had gone after passing through their door. Oh, same place. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere, and the air was filled with the French fresh scent of it growing, underlaid with the sweet, dry tones of dead leaves, dead leaves underfoot. But I could also smell something rancid, something horrible. It was Alice for sure. While the air outside had been dry and harsh, in here it was warm and wet, like a forest after a spring rain. Just like Clover said. Plants and stuff everywhere. I walked slowly down the path, still slightly stunned. Most of the facility had been cold, dull metal, but this room was positively verdant. That's a good word. Is it verdant or verdant? It's verdant, right? Man, hard to believe there's something like this here. What the hell is this even for? As strange as the garden was, Alice needed to be my priority. I reined my thoughts back in and continued down off the path and into the grass. Verdant. Verdant. Queer ass. <laughs> Queer ass. <laughs> uh, it's a piece of armor. It's a cuirass. Queer ass. It's a queer ass. <laughs> Verdant. 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 <laughs> oh my god, you said so much so joy. <sighs> say happy pride. Happy pride. I can say happy pride. Happy pride. Oh, there you are. Oh, man. Here Good. you are. I'm glad you showed up. I just got here a minute ago. She was like this when I found her. When you showed up, I was getting ready to take her to the infirmary. Sus? Yeah. Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So she's just unconscious. Looks like it. Where'd the scalpel go? Did she say that and I missed it? What about the scalpel? Oh, there we go. There with the scalpel. Doesn't look like she has it. Okay. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway. 
Hmm. We need to get her to the infirmary. Give me a hand here. Right. Wait, hold on. There's something I need to tell you. Did we see this? Can we skip? Just stay calm. Okay. Look what? to the right. Uh, is there a weeping angel there? My right or your? <laughs> This is a bomb. Exactly. I'm pretty sure someone didn't move it here from the crew quarters. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's an entirely different bomb. Look at the number on the side. Oh, this one has a one on it. It says one. The one in the crew quarters said three. There is no two one. He's just fucking with us. Shit. Then there's no question, huh? I've got more good news. Just think about the numbers for a moment. Okay. You're saying there's a two bomb out there somewhere. I can't be sure, but it does seem pretty likely. Th this was just a long-winded way of her saying, that's not what I'm saying? I didn't say that? I can't be sure. I didn't say that. No. Damn it. That means we're talking about an explosion the size of three tons of TNT. Is true? Yeah. That's true. J just Alice eyeballed this and was like, I know how much is in here, but yeah, okay. Who said it? Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio investigated the garden. Okay, last time we did this, there was no bomb, right? There's also a chance someone else said it. Anyone could have come here after they left and before we showed up. Anyway, we need to move Alice. Help me out here. Alice was lighter than I expected, and Fi and I managed to set off toward the infirmary at a brisk trot. Please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The Atom has finished scanning Alice. What did it say? Her results are identical to Quark's. It just keeps coming up with, with bitch. Every time I scan her, it just screams bitch detected. I don't know what to do. Nah, it's pretty accurate. She has also been infected with Radical Six. <gasps> oh no. I had called everyone else back after after I brought Alice to the infirmary. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. That's a writer phrase. All right, uh, are we almost done? Oh no, this keeps going. All right, and the other one goes even longer. Oh, we went to the right. Okay, so it was actually a choice. So saying no, we go down here with um, Clover. I'm guessing we don't actually go with Alice. Maybe we do. I don't know. I doubt that's gonna happen. All right, and then that goes even longer. What is this one? Okay, th there's a there's a, a cutoff here for sure. For sure. All right. So, am I just supposed to just realize when I have the password to get through here and go and go back? Because if that's the case, I love that. If it's just uh, when you think you have the password, come back here and enter it in. That would be really cool. Okay. I think when we're done this one, I think we're gonna go back up here and we're gonna do this one next while we're here. Oh no! No! What's going to happen to her? Smile. Ooh, frown. Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical Six. It's a special antiviral treatment. Whether or not there's any around here, though. No. Smile. No. Oh, Alice. I don't want you to die. Please. Please don't die. I don't want to be alone. Don't die. <laughs> Smile. Clover wrapped her arms around Alice's unconscious body and began to sob. Okay, uh, I really need to pee and I've been holding it for as long as I can, so let's just take our break right now. I'll be back in about five minutes. A little early, but yeah. Um, you know, unrelated to what's on screen right now. Be right back.
Hello, I'm back. Hey. So, well, much has happened since I've been gone. I realized I was wrong. That Temioji... I mean, it, it, it's not that it can't be, but it's Temioji, it's unlikely that it's jumpy because of what happens in one line, I forgot about it, where Temioji said that Clover told him about, about Alice being some mummy. And, oh, your blood is, 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 your water's not normal. So, like, and it's not that, oh, some memory loss thing, because Tenmyoji recognizes Alice, and he would have been there when they met in the desert, like she says, unless, unless that, that whole thing is a lie. That doesn't make sense. So I, I don't think so. The, the whole, um, crazy theory, or just crazy, like, intuition feeling that, the woman is is June, has made me conclude something stupid. I think because that doesn't make sense. I mean, I guess it's possible is the way it makes sense. Maybe Temioji is he's faking it just to kind of get more information on her. That that exchange doesn't really make sense now, though. Hmm. Let's keep going anyway. None of us had the heart to pull her off, so all we could do is stand and watch it comfortably. Ten minutes remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. I guess he could be Santa. And Santa wasn't there when they met because he was in the other car with June. I guess it could be Santa. I dismissed Santa before, though. Why did I dismiss Santa? Yeah. Uh, guys, I think we should get back to the warehouse. You would say that. What about Allison Quark? I guess we're just gonna have to leave him behind. No! I'm not leaving! Clover. I'm staying here! Smile. Like heck, I'm gonna leave Alice all alone! She's going to be fine. Heck? I gave her some soap oil. She'll just be sleeping like Quark. I don't care! I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Whatever. She can do what she wants. I huh? see. Dio and Tenmyoji's opponent in the next AB game is Clover. If she doesn't vote... Then she'll default to ally, which I don't think I need to mention would be pretty favorable for Dio. If she stays, he's got an easy round. Whoa, what are you saying? You think I'm gonna choose betray? Yeah, I do. Am I wrong? Yes. Of course I'm gonna pick ally. For one, Tenmyoji's gonna be in there with me. I can't just ignore his opinion and make my own choice, right? No, I won't be going. I can't leave Quark here when he's like this. I'll be staying, just like Clover. Ooh. Okay, so now Dio doesn't have any plausible deniability. Interesting. Okay. Hey, come on now. What is this? Knock it off, Dio. He's too smart to let you make a scapegoat out of him. What the hell? Ah, nice. All right. Cool. I like that. All right. Why are you so suspicious of me? Um, yes. What if Dio stays behind too? If Clover, Tenmyoji, and Dio all don't vote, then everyone allies, right? Oh, you don't know? She doesn't know. <laughs> She's not Coggers. But I, I am the robot that is Coggers, because I have seen the rules before. And Luna has not. You know what? This. You didn't find a note like this one? Huh? Wait, what's this? We found it in the archives. Well, there sure as hell wasn't anything like that in the garden. We didn't find one in the control room either. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. Apparently only the archive had one. Huh. Interesting. Hmm, okay. <laughs> what does it say? Why don't you read it for us, Sigma? Why are we reading it? I took the note for him and still slightly confused began to read. 
there are in fact two ways. Here, here are some hareable are some more AB game rules for you. Not voting is not a option. If both parties refuse to vote, then every bunny gets penalized. In other words, one person out of every color group of three has to vote. You see? Wait, hold on. It said every bunny. Does that mean literally every bunny? Like every bunny? All nine? At least one member of each trio must vote. Or just otherwise. Ev every bunny of of that pairing. That means Kay has to vote. Quark and Alice certainly aren't in any condition to. If he doesn't, all three of them are screwed. Wait a second. Kay's got six BP right now. His opponent is gonna have to default to ally. That means if Kay chooses betray, he's gonna have nine points. My God. You needn't worry. I have every intention of choosing ally. Hmm. Liar says very well. Oh, give me a break. You expect us to just swallow your bullshit? Oh dear. Oh dear. Dio, please, think for a moment. You do realize that Alice currently only has one BP, don't you? If I were to betray her, what would happen? Well, she's gonna die anyway. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized, just like when you break the rules. I am not so desperate to escape that I would be willing to kill. Therefore, I will definitely choose ally. I'm a simple man. I see Bunny in the game. I post Bunny emote in the chat. Bunny Bunny. Indeed, I really have no choice. Unless, of course, I wish to become a murderer. Unless. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. We don't have time to argue about this. There's only one solution. Clover, you're going to have to go vote for us. Huh? Uh-oh. Who's she going to seduce in there? Herself? It's going to be like that scene in Lord of the Rings with Gollum. She's like, Clover, we need you to vote Betray. Betray? No. <laughs> Knows, knows votes betray. Yes, votes betray. <laughs> I listen to anything if you want. What does that mean? What, did I use big words? Huh? It means this. Uh-oh. I've never seen someone move that fast before, let alone someone as old as Temioji. In the blink of an eye, he covered the last few feet between himself and Dio and slammed a closed fist into the other man's chest. Dio fell to his knees, wheezing for air. Temioji waited a half second to make sure he was down, then turned to look at Clover. He's not gonna stay down forever. Get out of here, Clover. Why don't we dose him a soap roll? But you and Kay are in the same position now. I've only got one BP, just like Alice. Interesting. So long as Temioji doesn't vote. Clover's only choice is to choose ally. Nah, she'll choose betray for sure. Hmm. Admittedly, there is a chance she might kill me. Are are you saying you trust me with your life? Smile. <laughs> the size of it. <laughs> are you seducing me, Temioji? Because it's working. What the hell are you standing around for? Get! You don't need to worry about Alice. I'll keep a good eye on her. I promise. Get moving! You still don't trust me. N no, that's not it at all. I trust you, I just... Three minutes remain until Abidex game polling closes. We need to go. Come on! Okay, take care of Alice. She'll be fine. That seemed to finally satisfy her and we were off. We ran as fast as we could, leaping through doors and tearing through rooms on our way back to the warehouse. Can we see it? Can we see the map screen? Yeah! Clover votes betray for Clover, yes? Kill the hobbitses. No! No! Everybody yeah. ready? Yeah. You've got... All got a moon card, right? No, I left it in the infirmary. Shit. Yes, we do. Okay. Good. Then let's go. 
Uh, who are we against again? Oh, Luna, right? Luna. Four AB gates yawned open as we swiped our cards. The fifth one and the one Dio had opened stayed empty. The six, which had been Alice's, remained unopened. Kay and Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right, and Luna had and, and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what is it? Oh, we're against Phi. Yeah, how is like if if it's honestly, even if it's Santa, if it's Santa or Sh why isn't he getting changes from the field? Why is it us? Are they change? Is everyone else changing too? And we just don't see it? Is that what this trying to? Okay, whatever. Let's just keep going. You're going to choose ally, right? Too much to think about. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do you ask? Of course we are. Ooh. Ooh. Once we get in there, Sigma, will you vote betray for Luna? You promise. I promise. Pinky swear. Sure, I promise. Cross your heart. Yep. Cross my heart. You're gonna be in a world of hurt if you double cross me. I would never. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. My word is my bond. Five frown but said nothing and disappeared into her own AB room, the second from the left. Okay, hold on. Oh, there is a choice. Oh, wow, that's awkward. Luna and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one, the leftmost room. I think we should get the betray one out of the way first. So then we can just get that done and then flip over to the to the cannon except one. I think that's what we should do. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. What are you going to do? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose Ally. Yes, but Fi has six BP. If she betrays us. Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? Wait. It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. What? You have 6 BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses ally... Then I would have 9 points. Oh. Okay, so... She's gonna vote betray then. There's no way she's not going to, because otherwise we would be able to leave. And, like, there's no way we're gonna get to 9 and the game's gonna be like, nah, fuck you, you can't leave. So, she's gonna vote Betray. So we should definitely vote Betray then, and then go outside and, and we can just do finger guns at each other and go, eh, I knew it, and then we'll hug. And then, you know, we'll be fine. Alright. Yes. You see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. Yep. 20 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Are you cho are you sure this is okay with you? This is like choosing between two waifus. Yes. All right. I turn to face the machine. 10 seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What am I going to choose? Nine, eight, seven. Ally or betray. So get the betray cocktees out of the way. It's going to be vote betray, ends, bad end. We don't get to go out. And then Six, just load it back up and five, do the real route with ally. Four, okay. This is three, impossible. Two, one. The reverse bait! Oh my god! Oh, chat in shambles! In shambles! Chat in shambles! Oh my god! Holy shit! Not even I knew what I was gonna choose until I got there. Oh man! Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. The upset! Lou and I stepped out of our AB, AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. So, you chose Betray. Wait, did we? Did you do it to protect yourself? Yes. Were you worried that Fi might choose Betray? Yeah. That's a good question. Uh -huh. Did so someone just said they lost 250,000 coins? There's no way. 
You bet 3.5 million coins just changed hands. Oh my god. Oh, rumbled. Ru What's Dragon's Den doing right now? Holy shit. I just, I just collapsed the monocoin economy. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. I know why. <laughs> well, we should go see the results. I want to see how Kay and Clover voted. Right, let's go then. Joe Biden did this. Yeah, you're right, chat. Joe Biden did this. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. She voted betray for sure. Oh no! Kill us. We're dead. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. It was Luna. Luna made us do it. She seduced me. Please check your bracelet to she, see your updated bracelet points. She mooned me. You don't understand. Well played, Sigma. <laughs> I learned from the best. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I've broken a pro- Why are we talking? Just go over to the lever and pull the door. Why did you do it? Nothing to say. I guess I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. How does it feel, chat? You're fine right now. I won't forget this. You will, though, once I jump. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum semel occasionum non ipse potes Jupiter reprehendere. What? A Latin What's... proverb. What does it mean? I'm gonna gonna fuck your shit up. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Jupiter is a Roman god. Actually, he's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods, can take back what's been done. You did something bad. You're not gonna get a chance to take it back. Okay, I'm getting some like flowy vibes right now. Like, is this gonna is this decision gonna haunt me over to another timeline? I turned away from Fi. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. In front of me were Kay and Clover. Their eyes bored into me with cold disapproval, and I looked away. They'd both chosen Ally, as promised. The only person who betrayed anyone was me. <laughs> the only person with 9 BP was me. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. What okay. do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number 9 door, are you? Yeah, it's rich coming from you. You were already out of here by now for a moment. I consider the unthinkable. Could I break through them and reach the door? Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment, but... No, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my... Oh, wait, wait, which, which one are we on? Okay, yeah, the one on the right. That makes sense. Why why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice, as if I'd just been curious what, to see what would happen. If Betrayal was what I wanted, I should have made that choice with commitment. This is so good. Wow. Like, to put yourself out there on a, on a, on a like, a risking on a limb that this is actually going to make sense and resonate with, with the audience. And it does, for me. Like, it really, it, like, yeah. Like, damn. But there I was, and I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open the number 9 door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my actions. Elapsum semel occasionum non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. Wait. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. How could I do something that was beyond the reach of a god? Why hadn't I just chosen an ally? What would be happening to me right now? What if, what if, what if? Then Fi spoke and I blinked. Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. We can't let you run around with 9 BP. This is the right decision? I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while. Okay? Huh? I started to turn around, but it was already too late. 
I felt a heavy hand slam at the back of my neck. And then everything went dark. Joe Dark. Makes sense. Still have not seen an ending. Okay, this time I'm choosing ally for sure. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. <laughs> Amazing. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Amazing. I love it. I love it. Amazing. Collapsum simel occasionum, non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. It even, it even interrupts the skip. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. I know what this is. And then all of a sudden, it's like almost like a jump scare. It's almost like womp change. You made something change. She's angry. She's in, it's, it's like, like uh, an interjection. It's so good. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Wait, if I did betray again, would that be would be commitment? And then at that that time, I would run out. Is there like a is there like a secret splinter down here? Or it's like no, this time I mean it for sure because I chose it again. And it would be like. But a bit of bomb, but on, but on, but on, but on, like, I'm gonna guess no. Ambidex gates now opening. Could you imagine though? That would be cool. Lou and I stepped out of our AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Yep. Are you sure that was okay? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, of course. If I did you too. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. I already know. Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! What? Oh no! Oh no! No, let's go have a look, shall we? You will know pretty quick whether I know anything okay. or not. Let's go. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention to the results screen. What if we had chose ally first? Man, I'm so interested. I'm so engaged right now. It's going to be Betray for sure. Yeah! Okay, what happens now? All right, now we're gonna knock Fi out, right? And we're gonna be angry with her? Come on. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Okay, get the soap roll, let's go. Come on, we're not just gonna let her out when we didn't let, let Sigma out, right? <laughs> what the hell, Fi? Why'd you choose Betray? You chose Ally before. I see. So you remember it too. Okay, where's this going? The other round two. What? That wasn't even close to the response I'd expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. You, you, you know? She knows? She's Coggers? You remember how I chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Okay, what if I had chosen ally first? God damn it. Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? <sighs> yeah, I do remember that. Then this is you making me pay? Yes. Okay. Let's go back and vote ally for sure. Wait, wait. No, no, no. That didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? What the hell was I thinking? That was a conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternative timeline or universe or whatever, there was no way I could know what happened in it. No way I could know. 
At least, I didn't think there was any way I could know, but if I could, then how? I remember Tfai choosing Ally, then scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Don't do the Latin thing again. Okay, good. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fi remember it? What was the, what the hell did any of this mean? Okay. It had happened before, hadn't it? And inexplicably, we, we're still the one that gets knocked in the back of the head. During round one of the AB game when I was playing against Alice, I'd seen something. Fi and I had chosen Betray. But for some reason, I had seen a reality where we chose an ally instead. Suddenly, I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Okay, surely this transcends the voting game right now. Yeah. You're the only one who didn't vote ally. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. All right, later, losers. So sorry, but I'm out of here. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Okay. Through the number nine door. Okay, we can stop her, though. She can't actually fly. Hey, wait. Okay, really? We're just gonna let her? I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No, I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. Oh god. This this feels like a permanent thing that we fucked up here. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. I do though, I do. <laughs> Betrays your wait, are you saying? Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm I not see. moving. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Fi bent down. Then shot up into the air and over my head, I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. Nice you. try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Acta est fabula. What? What the hell's that? Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. Okay, so you're there stand you're you're there like Speaking Latin, explaining what it is, and Kay hasn't gone over you and hit you in the back of the head? Like, what's what's going on, Kay? That's what it means. Latin. See you later. Alligator. Wait, stop. I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Elapsum se semel occasionem non epis protest Jupiter reprehende. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is what you, how you want it to end? What about the nonary game? Zero, the bombs. We still don't know the truth about any of it. If you leave now, we never will. Is that really what you want? Let's just go back and both vote ally. And we'll make we'll make a, a third flow here somehow. Fine. If I slowly let go of the lever. Phew, look, I'm sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why Forget I did it. About it. I just got an achievement. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. Okay. I think we're even. All right, let's go back in time and vote ally again. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm going to vote betray. Lamayo got her. <laughs> when did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? No, we aren't talking about round, round one where... Just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Actually, she would. Like, like a lot, she would. Like, sh she, she would for sure. Like, probably not. Probably a clone of us in a fucking robot suit. So yeah, would also get it. Like, well, at least it seems Fi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind. Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. All right. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. The AB game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If, so if someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. JK, I'm opening the door. The Ambidex 
Ambidex gates have closed. Round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. What would have happened if I chose Ally the first time? Would she have voted betray and then we would have told her? We would have channeled Latin to her? Like, I really want to know. Like, what would have happened? There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. <laughs> as many times as you want, huh? Then that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. <laughs> so you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. Didn't Zero Jr. say something about that? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments pop around a bit too. Oh yeah, what are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm a red solo. I'm a magenta pair. Red solo cup. Why aren't we going back in time to both vote ally, Fi? Me too. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Yeah. Sorry, we'll do great. Yeah, okay. Who's going to be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. Okay, when we get down to here, I'm I'm gonna save it again and reload and see what happens. Huh? Wait a second. If Luna and Clover are a magenta pair, Fi's a cyan pair and Kay's a yellow pair, who the hell am I supposed to partner up the with? Cyan pair, I imagine. Fi and her mysterious partner. How'd you figure that? Sigma. What colors are added together to create cyan? Uh, green and blue, right? And what color would you get by adding your red to that? Uh, black. Red, green, and blue would be white. Exactly. So you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. Wait, what's going on right now? Yeah, I saw him too. Smile. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Oh. Oh, okay. We really didn't need this. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? They're dead. Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. I wonder what colors they are. As far as pairs go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Hmm. Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. Okay, I think we're gonna be... We're going with Fi and whoever's paired with Fi. I think it's gonna be Temioji. Kinda worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Although Dio would be interesting. I hope it's not Alice or Quark. <laughs> Though that's right. Although last time we went through a third door, it was just... It was just Fi, right? So maybe you just take one of their bracelets. Alright, it can't be Alice or Quark, so, so they, they must be dead. Wait, guys, there's something I need to tell you. What is it? Go on. I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was just so much other stuff going on. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is... To be continued. Wh what? Oh, no. You found another bomb? Oh, yeah, the bomb. Where? In the garden. No. That's not possible. 
We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No. No way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one, too. It said one. Since the one we found in the crew quarter said three on it, well... You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? No, a second. Pay attention. I think there's a good chance. I'm not saying that. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. Very well. It could be anywhere. But even yeah, I agree. if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right. I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see. Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Let's go. Dead person music? No? Okay. So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Finally got here to see them. Wow, still not on the next part. Yeah, that's the lock thing. No question, these are chromatic doors, I so guess. So it seems. Whoa, you're here too? Ah! What? When did you? I've been here the whole time. Seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. Rrr. So what do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. Uh, we should be having like a real heart to heart about what the fuck is going on, right? I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you, how do you, how did you do it? You were totally silent. Are you Batman? Yes. I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Yeah, actually. Flashback? You also jumped super high all the way up to the ceiling. It was like six feet. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? No, I'm curious about how you can jump so high. Graffiti? Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did a kid write that or what? Why do you say that? Well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. Oh! Who puts an E there? Me. You're right. Then again, maybe it means something. Mm. Do you know what it means? It looks better with the E than just ninth. Ninth. It looks better with the E. Seriously. This should be the correct spelling, IMO. Ninth. The Latin part. Hey, now give me a little credit. Even I know what Memento Mori means because you told me on the other timeline. You see it all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like be aware of death or remember your mortality. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Never forget that we all die someday. Carpe diem. I guess it's just a sort of cautionary what thing. What about the other part? It's exactly what, what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lions and sons. Hmm. No, nothing. Anything come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun, 
Memento Mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. I repeated the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps Phi. Latin. Huh? huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure more out of it. Well, I know a little. Sorry, figured out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Then how'd you know that phrase? Elapsum samuel occasionum non epis potest Jupiter reperendere. Oh, that. That's from, um, this. She unpinned the brooch from her chest as she spoke and held it up to me. Oh! Okay, cool. It's relevant. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. Slap Aim Alright, we have to find someone named Aim and slap them Okay, so did you have this forever or did you wake up with it on? This isn't even connected. How's that work? So I guess the I is pronounced like a J in Latin, huh? Is that important? Yeah. What is this? A memento of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents and they told me where the brooch had come from. Okay. Apparently, it was the only thing my mother had left behind. All right. What about your father? I don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face, and I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elapsum semel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? Sorry, what does it mean again? But it seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We've become as gods. We're on Jupiter! We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. The Morphinogenic Field Agency built a huge wind machine and they put it in space and they blew all the gas off of the gas giant and there was a core planet underneath and then they went down and they built a, 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 a base on there and that's where we are now! That, yeah, all right. Whoa, that's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this alone. Okay. There's yeah, something else we need to do too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. Okay, I feel like that's like not really that important, to be honest. So we should get going. Okay. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. Okay, is there something to do with an I being a J somewhere? There's nowhere to hide it. Aw, oh, for fuck's sake! So... You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Where is he? Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started toward one of the exits. I, f I followed. <laughs> He is jumpy. God damn it. How is he jumpy? The archives. Good place to hide a bomb. Now where the hell do we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. What's his name? <laughs>
All right, what's his, his name? Is uh, Ten? My oh shit! All right, fuck! I wish there was a right. Ten. My. Oh. G. Right? Is it a G? Is it a G? I can't remember how to spell his name. What were we missing? To me oh, we're missing a P. Okay, I'm wrong. I thought I had an epiphany and I'm completely fucking wrong. <laughs> I was like, the I is a J, so he's jumping. We already have the J. <laughs> That was like Dr. House moment where it's like, fuck, it's, it's lupus and I went and I fucking killed a patient. I don't know why. It's like, oh, it's I equals J. So now we can spell double J, Chumpy. Yay. Double <laughs> Jumpy. I doubt it really matters if it's here we'll find it eventually. So what about the the Jupiter stuff? Jupiter stuff. We can talk while we look. Okay, so is it the Mori one then? Th there's got to be an I equals J clue somewhere then. Okay, so Memento Mori, Memento Morgi. No, nah, I'm just crazy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I went on a big journey there. We can talk while we look. I get started. All right. Turn the corner room began to look wild. No, wait. Be Kodge off snow. Jacob! His name's Jacob! My god! And the off snow? N O Oh, Nusef, Jacob Nusef. My God, it was staring us right in the face all along. What does this mean? What's Jacob's Nusef's endgame? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine this being your first dream? I turned a corner to the room and began to look whilst I spoke. I'll start with a conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. That's true. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. And that's not what you're saying, yeah. More like we move through worlds. Worlds? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. <laughs> What, what? Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Well, kind of. Who hasn't? I think I've heard it once or twice. I'm so embarrassed that I forgot there was already J in the name. I thought I had something there. Just just slamming my brain against all these different options. I'm like legit a little embarrassed. Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I'll just explain it. Let's say... Hmm. I don't care what it is, but could you move? Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips, anything. I had no idea what, I was, what, what this was supposed to explain, but I did as she asked. 
scratch head, cross arms, have hands on hips, applaud others. All right, let's applaud. All right, is she gonna jump in front of us now and know you did something else last time? Interesting choice. You clapped your hands, right? But you could have chosen to cheer or blow a kiss, right? Blow a kiss? I wouldn't Details do- Details don't matter. I'm just talking about possibilities here. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Like the roots of a tree. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off. Oh my on god. And on into infinity. Is this the flowchart from the third game? Each of those branches is an alternate world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if some girl had started wearing a training bra so someone was flipping the back of it and then you got detention and you became best friends? Butterfly effect. What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? What if the I is a J? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway, that's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. Doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these can change history. I feel like this doesn't need explaining. I wonder why they're going to the trouble. Just to make sure everyone's on the same page. Like, after the first game going into this, this seems pretty straightforward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further... And you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision? Oh, so I have zero accountability. I can do whatever I want. Oh, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I can do anything I want and I don't have to feel any shame. At okay. that level, how different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Drink your fucking orange juice. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. Not even a little bit. See what I'm saying? No, no, actually no, not at all. The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. A quark! That's where universes branch out. He's not even real. He's the ghost. Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Oh, uh, not yet. Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? Oh, God, here we go. Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Whoa, hey. Hmm, let's see. Hey. Hand me that box, will you? <laughs> I handed the box I've been examining over to her. She set it down on the desk and opened the top. Also... Hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Eating the sun? Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. Felide? With that, she grabbed the lion and tossed it unceremoniously into the box. Oh man, is it, is it Fi's lion? She also took a weight and an ink jar and put them in next to the lion. All right, everything's ready. Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What about looking for the- So only take a minute, now look. I shrugged and peered into the box. What do you see? Well, there's a stuffed lion. From now on, that's a cat. No, it's a lion. A living cat. No, it's 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 a toy. This is important. It's not. Got it? Yes. Yeah, it's a cat meow. Oh man. This again? 
Sorry, I can't. I can't help. Can't help I it. I find that hard to believe. Ugh. Fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. What is this plot point? Is that important? All right. What else do you see? A oh, weight that's not even pawned. A paw. What? A, oh, a pound and a jar of ink. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material, and the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? I'm kidding out of here. Oh, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. Do all do all like like the the bunny has to make bunny puns. We have to make cat puns. Do do all th did the fucking the British robot have to make an animal pun and we just didn't get to the animal he has to make the pun about? Like, idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. Okay, I'm it, it kind of is though. It's just you know what we're breathing. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. It's full of poison gas. Exactly. Good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about the jar. <laughs> if it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. <laughs> These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? Okay, so I've seen a fair amount of videos on this thing, and I've even um, quoted it, uh, like butchered it even, um, to to make a point in, in a video. Um, the conclusion that like um, pop science and like fiction typically comes to, that isn't what the experiment is actually trying to say, right? Like this is one of this is a misunderstood part of Schrodinger's cat, from what I understand it. Like this, this is not actually what the conclusion is meant to be. It's just this kind of romantic idea that a lot of people really like and have latched onto because it's about a cat possibly dying, possibly not dying in the box. It's not actual proper science or whatever like that. Even though a lot of people have latched onto it as being that kind of thing, but it's fine. They're they're using it. It's okay. I'm not criticizing it. I'm just like. Um, I just wanted to say that real quick, because because I just want to learn. You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously, you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. What if the cat knocks over it? Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. I think the cat would break it. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? No. It breaks, and gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? Then the cat will not over knock over the jar eventually and also die. Lives to tell the tale. Uh -huh. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? Oh god, probably, like, I don't know, like one in a million. About 50%. Uh-huh. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? Dead. I can't possibly know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um, dead. The world's a harsh and harsh place for a cat. I have a feline. The poor kitty's dead. <sighs> nope. You're wrong. It's alive? That's wrong too. That's not what- I didn't say that. Then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. No, it's not. It's one or the other. Psych, that's the wrong answer. What? How does that make any sense? It doesn't. It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. The other thing that people get confused on, and me, maybe even I'm confused on it, probably am actually, is the idea that um, when you measure a quantum particle or something like that, I'm not sure if it's a quantum particle, it, it changes the outcome. And some people interpret this as if the particle 
knows that it's being measured and because it knows it's being measured it's like oh my god i have to act differently but in reality it's the actual act of measuring it is affecting the outcome because of like you're you're enter you're entering new information or a new thing into into the um the experiment right it's it's like the the uh, you you can't measure something without interacting with it at least a little bit and because you're interacting with it a little bit that is causing a new input into this into the simulation that you're running or whatever the measurement that you're doing and that changes the outcome it's it's not that like the the particles have some sort of fucking consciousness or anything like that i think i think that's what you're supposed to i think that's the conclusion because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box that becomes the entire system in other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities... Then it's both alive and dead. Right. Zombie cat. So, let's open the lid. Oh, anything could be going on in there. There could be two cats in there now. And when we do... All the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. No, it looks dead to me. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. It's Fido's lion. So there's another world out there that where this cat died. Um, aren't we supposed to be looking for a bomb? Yeah, that's the idea. Are we still here? God damn it, this is a long square. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Yeah, well, your story is pretty insane. insane. In the membrane? You don't think so? Just the idea of something being alive and dead at the same time. And if the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead, then it's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? What on earth are you talking about? Think back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose Betray, what was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose Ally and you chose Betray. Right. And both times... I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. I see. Well, that makes this a little easier to explain. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? No. That my choice in the future altered your action in the past? Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Well, from my perspective, the Jedi are evil. Now that I thought about it, round one had been the same. When I chose an ally, Alice had chosen Betray. And when I chose Betray, she'd done the opposite. Look at this die. Oh my god, this is still going? Die, it's dead. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. Alright. Answer this question. Oh my god. What number is the die on? Four. Has to be four. What do you mean has to be? Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Yay! You got it right. That was just a fluke. Was it? Huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Four. Four, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? No, there's no gas that can break in there with the, with the, like an alpha particle going on. Like, no. This is, this is like, oh, things things don't exist until you look at them? Object permanence, Fi. It's one of the first things you learn. I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Wait, so you're saying that before you opened the lid, the die was on on all the numbers? Uh -huh. No. That's one way to look at it, at least. They're just riffing over here now. No, and then when you opened the lid, it was just one number? Or it might have become that number when you declared which one it was. 
Huh? Wait, what do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. That's crazy. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Okay. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Okay, so is is the dead woman at, in, in the box, like, supposed to be a play on Schrodinger's cat then? Is she only there some of the time? What, what, but she has to be there the whole time. She's not dead sometimes. She's alive sometimes. What does she do? She, she, does she just like Theresa May creep off out of the out of the picture when everyone's not looking at the beginning if she doesn't die? Like, I don't understand. Like, or does she not exist at all? Like, of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa, that's so fucking stupid. I think I get it now. That's how you knew my name, right? You jumped in from another world. That's how you knew all those th other things you shouldn't have known. Okay, so have you been looping for longer than we have, or did we start looping at the same time? Or does it actually not even matter at this point? Yeah. I guess it, there has to be a timeline. So, or are all these things happening simultaneously, and, and we're just the narrative thread that's being tied together with it? Or, or is that like something that's impossible to convey in this medium of fiction. So you just have to like accept it as a contrivance, probably. That's the best I can figure out at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works. Well, I remember it, so I guess I'm the field. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. But I'm not the field, because I'm only the field for Sigma. And in the first game, I was only the field for Jumpy. And technically, June. Okay. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. <laughs> That's why when someone asks us how we all know X, we all we can think of is to say, I just knew. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. What's causing this then? This looks like an upgrade from Enter the Gungeon. The 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 ammo stone? Lodestone? I don't remember ever doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just Just well, what? I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? Hmm, you aren't kitten, are you? Maybe this is some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right meow. What if you've got it backwards? Backwards? We're outside of the box. And the rest of the world is inside. Then the moment we step out of this place... Yeah. We might be determining the history of the world outside. No way. What? I had a thousand other questions, but before I could open my mouth to ask them. Why, why, why oh, is... Good. Smile. Why is this the more important point of observation than the one outside? What? If just... Th there would be like infinite little boxes with unrolled dice in them that oh before you look like okay this is this is kind of losing me a little bit but whatever let's just keep going there you are smile did something happen yeah everyone's dead yes i have a stick we found it found what the bomb you mean what what else could we find the bomb the other antimatter bomb but it has a four on it the number two bomb is in the control room Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number two, apparently. Well, at least we found them all now. No. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have it's, no way to know. It's just, if we're jumping within the experiment, why wouldn't there similarly be... Like, there is... The field exists outside the, the, the facility as well. So why isn't it just an ongoing process out there as two? So is it just more concentrated in here? Like, 
Like, I mean, I hope I'm wrong and it does make sense, but right now I just I just can't imagine what she just said is gonna be like, yeah, that's satisfying. <laughs> Did you tell anyone else about this clover? Well, um, not really, but Okay, uh, we can kill you now then. I wasn't the first person to find it. Oh, who was it? Who was? Kay and Luna. Okay. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. Who was in the infirmary? Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. Okay, so the... So... Wait, if the I becomes a J, then the J could become an I. God damn it. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. There's nobody else here, though. Where'd they go? Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. What about Alice and Quark? They're the same. Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. Yeah, but we don't... Anything could be going on in that room until we open the door. It's only when we open the door that everything slots into place, because our perspective is the one that's important. That's good. Fine and I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? No. It took her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. And Quark was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. And Temioji was a cyan pair. And that's what Phi is, right? Phi cyan? So what are options the for groups? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Phi laid out what that would mean. Or Fiji. Option A. Phi and Temioji Cyan would pair with me, red. Quark blue. Alright. Huh? huh? There's only one option? Yeah. Any other combinations don't make white. What about Alice and Quark? Luna said it's going to be a while until they wake we'll up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary. And if we can't open Whoa. them. The secondary doors won't open without the three bracelets, and if we can't open them, yeah, we'll get we'll get penalized. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you saying you can carry her? Yeah. Well, I can get Luna to help me. True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. True. It's pretty true. What about Quark? He's on Kay's team. Okay. Surprised no one's dead yet. There shouldn't be any issues there. Well, we still need to figure out what we're going to do about this bomb. Alice said we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe, but we can't just leave them here forever. Smile. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is going to get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? That bomb should only have about about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT. Yeah, but we're right next to the, the generator, Sigma. Which is nothing to sniff at, but there's nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just, like, the detonator? Oh, oh, you mean there might be a bunch more anti-hydrogen around here somewhere? Yep, yeah, right over here. Oh my the god! Reactor. Yeah, there are supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. <laughs> How much is a lot? At least a couple grams. Three and a half kilograms. Oh, wow. Three and a half? That's like 10,000 times more than Alice's 350 milligrams. I remembered exactly. If there really is that much. And if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Okay. No, that's, that's insane. Okay. 
Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Okay. You know what we should do? We should we should just drain all the power so it runs out of fuel, so we're fine. Quick, turn on all the lights. Turn the heaters on. Crank the thermostat. You know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's a... Uh, during my training, they... <laughs> training for what? Uh, my job? What's your job? Ah, of course. I didn't realize waiters these days needed to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors there were worldwide. Or how much fuel each one of those reactors might be storing. Well, they do. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? Yeah, I did. And I'm really upset that you lied to me. Oh. Well, um, she's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? That's, uh, what we call the coffee machines. What? Are you fucking with me? I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. Okay, Clover. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. What? Then what's your real job? Is it a cat cafe? Are we going to be able to... Clover? Clover? Are we going to be able to go to your cafe and speak normally? Clover? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Do you know someone named Okabe? Did, did chat trick me? Why not? It's classified. Classified by who? The government. The government. That's right. Alice said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. Oh no! Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? Oh, plot allowance is, is expired. What are you talking How long about? Until the doors open. Okay, and look down. It's like forty-five minutes, and we look up. She's just gone. Come on, quickly! Please. <laughs> Oh, back then. God damn it. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. <laughs> you guys hurry back, okay? Bye. Bye. You haven't. Ah, she still kind of did it. All right. And she's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get going. Hold on. I need to check something really quick. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, did it just... I stopped what I was doing? What? Oh, there you are. You're late. What were you doing? <sighs> Nothing. Oh, uh, no! Planning bomb number four? What did we do? When we arrived, everyone else was already back. Did you take a bomb from the shelf? Quark and Alice hadn't left, of course. They were both sleeping soundly. Any traces of the madness we'd seen earlier long gone. Clover told us. You've seen the bomb in the control room. <laughs> yeah, with our own eyes. So what the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Okay, so, like, we've done nothing with these characters. What's what's that all about? Quark, too. There's three... Oh, we've been leaning for so long, and there's three whole characters we've done nothing with. It's amazing. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well... Deactivate. Uh oh, are we gonna hit a dead end until we get the password? You see it? Right here, there's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. I nodded and pulled it out of my pocket. The shot put ball. That was in the safe in the control room. <laughs> exactly. We didn't have any idea what it was at first, but Five figured it out. After Clover left, we tested it. Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Couldn't get it to do anything, though. We plugged in a couple random characters, but all we got was an error. 
Wow, you you just you just try. I guess they can just jump back, right? So it doesn't matter. Okay. But still, I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. We just didn't have the right password. Okay, so through the field, we literally have infinite time. So let's just try everything forever until we get it. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. True, it's pretty true. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? There has to be danger. There has to, you have to be threatened that you're going to die in order to access the field for some reason. That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. So in the future, when field technology has been like like properly like understood, everyone just walks around with a loaded gun strapped to their head that could go off at any second. So you could always just, oh no, I died. Oh, I'm back in the field. All right, now I know. Like no, your gun's not loaded. You don't have access to the field today. Oh no, make sure your gun is loaded. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, whatever the case is, there's one thing we can be sure of. I didn't I didn't pay attention to what she said there. The person who set these bombs is one of us. Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment. But what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. If we can figure out who that person is and question them. We can get the password and turn the bombs off. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Starting to get some big, someone's a robot, and sometimes the programming takes over and makes them plant bombs vibes. That would be my quick and easy method. I don't even know who's playing the bombs. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? It was me. Not that I expect you to do that. So, we're going to be checking everyone. For what? Bomb residue? Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, the bombs are controlled by a remote. It stands to reason that whoever set them has that remote. They wouldn't keep it on them, though. So you're going to search us for it? Yes. But no buts. Take off your hat. If you refuse, that implicates you. Whoa. Do what I say and you'll be fine, assuming you are actually innocent. Okay, cop. Understand. No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No. I do. All right. Let's see. Now, Token, I choose you. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I know who did it. To be continued. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. We just went through the fields and shit, Fi. Like, get with the program. We should just be having multiple epiphanies. We should be having, like, a Sherlock Holmes versus Sherlock Holmes about who can do the biggest bullshit right now. It should be, like, it should be, like, Shimano versus Shimano playing chess while also playing a game of checkers with their feet under the table at the same time while also headbutting each other in the precise point. Like, what, what are you talking about? Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. I knew you would do that, but I knew that you would know that I'd do that. I knew that you would know that I would know that you would know. <laughs> two, two AI robots just talking to each other. This is just looping forever. I know who set the bombs. That person, to be continued. Oh, what was that? The person, that person, you did it. What is this? The room was suddenly silent. Okay, we're finally on it. All right, hold on, save. All right, now we go up here. All right, so what happens if we choose ally?
One minute. God, I hope he's what pointing to it. I hope he's pointing to a mirror. <laughs> Round. Okay, so it's so we're locked into betray. So if we chose betray as ally the first time, would she have still chosen betray, and we would have got pissed at her? But then we wouldn't know the other thing. So would she have left? Are we locked out of an ending now that we're never going to be able to see? Because that's kind of cool. Okay, so now I want to I want to quit. Is there a similar kind of ending with Clover leaving then? Something we can say to her? The room's suddenly silent. Please be pointing at a mirror. Yeah! <laughs> why? Oh, I know why. Oh, shit, because we haven't seen it yet. So, we... So in this timeline, it's like, I don't know, but then we're going to go and find out and then we're going to jump back here. So we haven't done that yet. Okay. That's interesting. All right. All right. So do we get an ending? Still no somehow. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. All right. So we want to go, do we want to do this side now or do we want to go? We haven't been back here in a while. Hmm. I kind of like that. We've been like, we started here. Then we jumped over here. Then we went here. Then we went down here. I kind of like that we're jumping all over the place. Can I guess the password now? I'm going here. We don't have time to talk about this. Choose betray. What? You're kidding. You really want me to betray we Luna? We don't know if she'll ally or not. If we choose ally and she chooses betray, we're screwed. Okay, yeah. We have to betray Luna. Let's blame Fi. Waifu, no! Siggy! Fido! As Fai and I stepped out of the AB room, I could see the others getting running toward the monitor, shoving and pushing to get closer. Temioji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? We telling the truth? If our BP hits zero, do we really- Well, you chose Betray because of what I said, right? Don't worry. You made the right choice. You better not have lied to me, so I choose Betray. Well, zero will tell you if I lied or not. Zero. Yo, what's up? Siggy! Fido! Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. You'll see in a minute. Let's go, Sigma. <laughs> hey, what do you mean Zero's gonna tell me? Hey, Fi, hold on. Damn it. Good, good, good. <laughs> Looks like you're all here. Finally. Kermit the Frog here. Ready to rock! Ambidex game! Round one! The result! If everybody would please direct their eyes to this monitor. Every pair betrayed. Oh, man. All right. Now we just have to do this again and betray again, and then six of us get to leave. Oof. Oof. Oh. Here are the results from your game. Now, let us check the numbers on our bracelets. Sigma, why did you and Fi do that? All we had to do was choose ally three times, and we 
could all escape together. After this, we only would have needed two more rounds and we would have all had nine points. Exactly, she's completely right. But now we... why? I hung my head. There was no way I could look her in the eye and try to explain what I'd done. It was me. I told him to betray you. What? There's a way to get out faster. If you're successful twice with betray, you'll get three points each time, which gives you six. That means you'll have nine BP after the second AB game. I know that. Is that why you chose betray? So you can escape before the rest of us? Yes. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to get out first or anything. Well, I, I mean, I didn't say that. I just wanted to have a little leverage. How is leverage supposed to help you? Well, I was planning on getting out of here with everybody else, and he... You're lying. What makes you think I'm going to believe that? Their eyes met for a long moment, but all I could see in Luna's was sadness and disappointment. Fi opened her mouth, then shut it again and looked away. I was about to apologize to Luna when... Hey, what were you thinking? I'm sorry, Alice. I didn't think you'd choose Ally. What? You really think I'd betray you? Yeah, you're a bitch. Well, no, that's what I thought at first. But Kay told you to choose Betray, didn't he? Yes, I did. I was sure you would vote similarly. Are you listening? I'm not going to vote Betray against Clover. How would he know that, Alice? You're, oh, we're, we know each other, no, can't talk about it. Tiki, we'd have to kill you, government super spies. Like, how dumb are you? Is that so? You never considered that we might choose to betray you? What? Clover would never choose that, of course. But what if I was your sole opponent? I understand it might seem strange of me to say this, but who would trust a man who hides his face? True. If I were in your position, I would be quite certain my masked opponent would choose betray. How are we like over 20 hours and we still have not seen who this character is? Well, but it wasn't just you. Clover was there too. Yes, she was. But if I'd chosen to end an argument by force, do you think she would have had any chance? You wouldn't have to though, you seduced her, right? That's where she learned it from? Clover, would you please choose Betray for me? Thumb and mouth robot. I was certain you'd choose Betray for that very reason. Oh, I seem to have dropped my robe. Let me bend over and pick it up. While I'm doing that, would you mind voting Betray? <laughs> so that was why you did it? Yes. After he explained his thinking to me, I thought he had a good point. Oh, he really did seduce you! <laughs> okay. It's alright. I understand. I'm so sorry. I apologize. This is very unfortunate. The past is the past. There's no point complaining about it. I'll just have to try and get those points back in the next AB game. Oh, by voting Betray. That was when I finally noticed Dio, Quark, and Tenmyoji. Let me give you a little warning, Tenmyoji. Whoa! That little shit is a hell of an actor. I'll bet you money he's a born con man. I still really do believe him here. I don't know what he is to you. But if I were you, I'd trust that kid as far as I could throw him. And at your age, that can't be much. But he killed Tenmyoji and and, um, and Clover on on the other timeline. Unless there's something like, like misdirection, Lamayo. This, this will really throw a wrench into their field jumping if we, if we make them think it was Dio. But I really believe him here. You hearing me, old man? Keep an eye on him. Okay, so that time we only got the end of the conversation. I like the perspective changes, that's cool. Looks like things hadn't gone as planned for e for other teams either. Nonetheless, we all seem to have reached some sort of truce. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you, you think, think this could happen enough. next round? Next well, round. Well, hold on. So this was the first one we ever did, right? Yeah, because we went down here. So that means there is an old lady here, right? We went through the thing. The old lady's dead on this one. Okay. If I had to guess, I'd say it's going to be Tandy Oldie. Or, or alas. Or Mooney. Or maybe everyone. Everyone? <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. Why am I going to die? Hmm. I guess I can tell you why. Anyone whose BP drops to zero gets penalized. 
just like when you break the rules. I'm pretty sure I already told you what the penalty is. Uh, I see. Alice, Luna, and I only have one BP. That means we'd have less than zero if we lost two points. What? Less than zero isn't zero. What the hell? This is important stuff. Why didn't you tell us? Jacob Nusef, he's back. He's back and he's got a new name. Jacob Nusef sounds kind of like a twisted version of Joseph Anderson. <laughs> like an alter fucking ego. <laughs> I'm just going to for... <laughs> Bikoi sounds like trap. I agree, Bikoi is, is a more catchy name. I think we'll revert back to it, but it was fun to do the Jacob. Very well. Very well. I shall head for the crew quarters then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. Kay's robe floats silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind. Okay, so it was different this time. Last time he went to the lounge. Sigma. Perfect timing. You were... Yeah, on this one it was a big revelation that the time is different. But on the other ones they don't care. Alright, so K is going to be here this time, whereas K wasn't there last time. Interesting. Excuse me. Huh? So these are the crew quarters, huh? Oh, Sigma. What are you? Okay, no K? So We're I should pair up. Time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Okay, so there's only one choice here. Just like before, there are only three po All right, are we going to go with Alice or are we going to go with Dio finally? Alice and I Oh, we're we're with Alice forever. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay, so Alice and I with Luna. We've done that one already, I think, so that's not going to happen again. Alice and I with K, we haven't done that one. That's very likely. Okay. And Alice and I with Clover. All right, that one I think we have done, so it's, it's going to be K. Three minutes remain until chromatic... <laughs> Okay, so who's going going to go I'm where? Not going with Kay. Why not? I had enough of that last time. Thank you very much. Whoa, you don't get to choose. Oh dear. Seems I'm not wanted. Aw. Satters? I'd like Luna to come with us. Huh? Me? Need someone gullible for the next round? Yes. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Aren't you my partner? <laughs> Maybe. But I don't want her to think that means I agree with you. <sighs> you betrayed me last time, Fi. And Dio, you betrayed Tenmyoji. Ah, come on. Didn't I tell you? It was Quark who... Dio! Stop saying that! Anyway, Fi and I won't be choosing Betray this time. And you were like, you can go inside that place? Your BP's one right now, isn't it? If you chose Ally and we chose Betray, what would it be? Negative one. That's less than zero. I'd die. I didn't want to say it straight out, but yeah, we're not going to go that far just to get out of here. Right, Fi? Yeah.
You know what? I believe him. Best boy. Okay, then I'm going to take a chance on you. Take a chance, take a chance, take a take a chan chan. Luna, are you sure about yes, this? I've made up my mind. <sighs> then that means Quark and I will be going with Kay. Since it looks like Alice is pretty determined. So we're with Clover and Alice again? Didn't we already do this one? Yes, I am. Then I get to go with Alice again. Yay. I'm totally good with that. Okay. We can vote betray against her, right? What I did to Alice last time was really bad. I want to try to make up for it. So we're going with option C then? That means each group is going Sigma, Alice, Whoops. and Clover are going through the red door. Ten Miyoji, Quark, and Kay are going through the green door. And finally... Dio, Luna, and I are going through the blue door. Any objections? Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. If there were any objections, there was no time for them. Let's go. No, that's wrong. The announcer's voice filled the room as we ran for our Three, doors. Two, one. Zero. This is a big ass game. Chromatic doors. Closing. Huh? Is this a dead end? There are three doors, but it looks like they're all locked. I wonder what this thing does. Well, it's got a lever. Can you pull that, Sigma? <laughs> sure thing. Oh, no commentary about her boobs this time and that we're packing the 12-incher? No? Huh? Well, that's interesting. It opened the door on the right. Hmm, that seems kind of weird. I mean, why just that one? What about the other two? Details, details. Hardly seems important to me. They gave us a way forward. I say we take it. Come along now. Without waiting for a response, Alice strode off toward the open door. Clover and I hurried to follow. It's the pantry. Whoa, this is amazing. Who'd ever need this much underwear? <sighs> Not panty. What? Well, I mean, all these boxes and stuff are panties, right? I knew it was going to do it. I knew it. You know how I knew? Because I almost made the joke myself. And I changed my mind halfway through. I was like, nah, that's too low-hanging fruit for me. And there are a lot of boxes. Isn't that what it said panties. on the door? Yeah. Clover dear, it didn't say panty. It said pantry. Pantry? Yeah. Although you do eat both of them. It's where you keep food. Yep. Uh, oh, I guess that makes more sense. So they're edible panties. <laughs> Her face had turned an especially amusing shade of red. What do you think that thing is? I'd say it's a water storage tank. It's totally full of water. The stuff on the shelves looks like it's mostly bread, maybe it's, a few pastries. It's totally but no panties. It's totally full of food. So just a whole bunch of food, huh? Clover was right that there's a lot though. Looks like you could live here for quite a while. I have to agree. Then what do you think this place is for? Maybe it's where they quarantine sick people. Didn't we tell what? you about Radical Six? I guess that story really was true. I feel like I'm being double teamed right now. What is this? You're saying that the reason they've got all this food and water is so they can keep infected people here? That's ridiculous. I'm not infected with some weird ass disease. I don't want to stab myself in the chest. I don't want to spend the rest of my life locked up in a, in a, in a metal box. Me either. Again? Giving us food is all well Not and good, again! No spare underwear? That's unforgivable. S seriously? Yeah, you don't wear underwear. Like, come on. How long are you guys going to keep making fun of me for that? 
Right, well, we need to search this room. So let's get started. Seek a way out. All right, we have 27 minutes to do this. I'm willing to go a couple minutes over, but if this is a hard one, we're not getting this one done this stream. Ooh, new music. What's this thing? Well, it's got a faucet, so I think it's connected to the water storage tank up there. Let's use it to pour water. Yeah, there's a drain too. Oh yeah, in the middle here. Plus three, plus two, minus one. Hey, this is, this is from a calendar, right? Yeah, it looks a little weird though. Oh, great, we can take it with us. Wait, I think there's something written on the back of it. The day the man was abducted. There is something back here. Oh, hey, the screen lit up. Looks like it's designed to turn on when you touch it. Go on. I think we need to type something in. Yeah. Let me give it a shot. What? No. 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 Uh, I don't get it. So these are all drawers, huh? Yeah, tons of them. Um, wow. How many are there, I wonder? 366. What? I said there are 366 drawers. You just looked at them and figured out that out? No, I did math. They're divided into four sections. Each row is numbered 1 through 14. In other words, there are 14 rows in each section. The columns are labeled with letters A through G, so you've got seven columns per section, and four sections means 28 columns total. But there's none on the bottom one here. Now, each section has a few spots where there aren't any drawers, right? Well, specifically, there are 26 of these spots. So you just calculate four, 14 times 28 minus 26, and, and that's 366? Right. You did all that in your head? Of course. It's pretty simple stuff. I call bullshit. The shelves are divided into four sections labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12. Additionally, each section has rows numbered 1 through 14, a letters A through... Okay, so we have to open something up and we know that from... Or do we have to collect clues for that? For the thing in the computer? Okay. Let's open some. Bunch of cubes in the wall, let's see locked though, can't open them. I don't see anything like a heal either. I'm not sure I can open them. So the pictures on the box looks really tasty. I wonder what's under the wrapper. Under where? Under there. Shut up. <laughs> Why the hell did they put a cabinet back in the corner like this? It's really hard to get to. Agreed. It's got a sliding door. Alright, let's slide it then. What's this? A binder? It's got a couple pieces of paper inside. We probably ought to hang on to them, huh? You found a nutritional management chart and a nutritional balance chart. Okay. See this red button? I think it keeps the wheel in place. So if we push it and unlock, I think we can move this thing. We release all the locks. Sounds good. Let's get to it then. All right, now let's move it. No. Do we have to go around the other side? Aha! All right, so we move this thing. Okay, let's have a look inside. There's a binder here too. And this is what, some kind of chemical? Let's take the binder first, pH scale. All right, it's giving us a lot of material, now the chemical. This is the chemical for testing pH. Um, you can use it to test how basic or acidic something is. All right, let's put it on you. Oh man, you're basic as fuck. Lol, Alice, it doesn't even go on you. You're so basic. Didn't it? Didn't you ever do that in school? You put it in water, and the water changes everything. It changes color depending on the basicity or acid acidity. Okay.
Oh my god, what is this? Hole here. Looks like there's a diagram on the left of it. Lock and unlock. Do you think it's showing a button here? So pushing this hypothetical button will release a lock. I don't see a button anywhere though. Maybe it's in the hole. I don't think so. Can we put one on? One, one what? Have you, seen, have you been listening? A button. All right. Let's use you. You're as cute as a button. Oh, do you mean it? No. All right, 113. Okay, do we pick all these up? Fractions. No, I think these are pages from the day calendar. The blue ones are Saturdays and the red ones are Sundays. Oh man, both days the place signs get on. So the black numbers are weekdays. Looks like they're for January 13th, March 27th, May 7th, July 30th, and November 11th. Oh man, th this is really complicated. What do you think this machine is? The bottom part looks like some kind of dolly. It's got a five by five grid of metal boxes. Okay, but these are missing a top. Top row's empty. Yeah, okay, yeah. Do you think we're supposed to put something in them? Well, not something, I guess. Probably more boxes. Basic water. Empty plastic container. It says basic water. So does it mean we're supposed to put basic water in here? Okay. Basic water. Neutral water. Acid water. Not for drinking. Okay, so... This is neutral. And this is acidic and this is alkaline, or this is alkaline and this is acidic. Uh, I think it's when you, going down is alkaline, isn't it? And up is as acidic, or is it the opposite? I can't remember. Um, so if I put basic water, or neutral water, the drain could get more water here. Okay, with one. The drain. I could not get rid of water here. How do you not know? I do know. I just can't remember which way it goes because I haven't been in high school for fucking 20 years. I'm an old man. Let me get a 50-50 fucking direction mixed up once in a while. Holy shit. The drain. I could get rid of water here. Let's fill this thing. Neutral water. All right. So let's check it with the pH. You cannot combine these items. Of course we can't. Why wouldn't we be able to? All right. Okay. Well, I'm, I've tried everything, and I'm fucking fresh out of options. 35 is not- I'm older than 35! Okay. Let me flash back to when I was in high school, and I remember being confused or surprised because, for whatever reason, I thought acid. Like I, I heard, I, I found learned about acids before alkaline, so I think I would just assume that acids would go up, and alkalines would go down. And I was very surprised that it was the other way. That seems to be around. That seems to be right. So pH seven is neutral, and as you go up, it becomes more alkaline, and as you become go down, it becomes more acidic. I think that's it. I think, so I want plus one in the basic water tanks then because it should still be drinkable. All right, so plus one. Oh, this might not even be it. All right, and let's do minus three. Okay, so plus two, plus one, plus one is plus two, zero, plus two, minus three, so we're, so we're at negative one. All right, let's put them back. What could go wrong? Yay, we did it. All right, that did nothing. All right, cool. 
Hmm, screen's dark. Maybe it's not on? Looks like there's a card slot right under it. You think it means connection? Alright, what's in here? Hey, there's something in the drawer. Huh, I wonder what it is. It's a button. Grooves, mail screw. Combine it with something? Oh, I thought it was gonna be a button. Whoa, what are you doing? You broke it. Whoa, what the hell? This drawer is warm. That's ridiculous. Why would the drawer just be... You're you're kidding. It really is warm. Well, not to you, because you're made of ice nine. What's going on here? You took this out of the dolly, right? Then maybe it's for heating food up. Someone could have used it recently, so there's still some residual warmth. What? Okay, what do we need this for? Okay, can I go... Can I move this one? No? Really? I'm very surprised. What is this? A button? Looks like it. Do you start cutting the inside? A female screw. Maybe we can combine it with something else to make it a bit more useful. Wait. This is a beaker, there's nothing in it. There we go. Should be in there pretty good now. Yeah, looks good to me. Why well, go ahead and push it? And there. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like a lock opened. So we can open it? I assume so, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Oh. I thought we had to I thought it was gonna be a block pushing puzzle, huh? So it's supposed to be open. Oh, it's empty. I wonder why. Looks like you can open from both sides. See? You can do that from front and back too. Then there's no hinge, it's just one huge lid. It's just sitting on top from bottom. Okay, so let's shimmy past and move that thing over. Hmm. Hey, just look like there's something inside that ice cube to you. Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can get to it. Well, we'll just be able to grab it, that's for sure. This glass is in the way. How about dropping through that hole? Hole? There's a square hole down here, see? I think you just need to slide the ice cube into it. How? I really have to explain it? Alright, fine. Just pay attention. You can slide the ice cubes by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. Move the ice cube with something into the in with something in it to the hole in the front. Do they all move? You can slide four of the ice cubes, but there's a limit to the number of times each one can be moved. Why? Once you reach the limit, the ice cube will freeze in place. Of course it will. There's warm water in there that's making it freeze. Okay, got it. Here goes. Okay, what if I, oh, so these are, if I go down, hold on. Okay. So each cube can move four times, right? Not, I can only have four moves, because that would be impossible. That's frozen fuck no okay shit okay so can i move it to oh no oh no Okay, so I need to put one here. Or here. That's not possible. Or put one, two, three, four. Gonna be here for a while. So does it only count when it's, when it's down out of here? That's when you have four moves? Because otherwise this would be running out as we go down, right? Okay, so let's go. All right, so left, then right, then down. Then right, then down. Then right, then down. Left, shit. That's pretty close though. All right, how do I do that? How do I get it down here again? Right, down. Hmm. 
No. Shit. Why is this one moving? What about up first? No, that's moving now too. Didn't we do that last time? Yeah. Tried the same thing three times. This feels correct. Why is this here too? If I can get one, two, three, and then here down, no, I run out of cubes. I can get here into there. Down here is not gonna work. Let's just try it and see how it goes. No, that's not gonna work. All right, so that one, then that one, then that one, then down, then over here. No. Is there a way to do that faster? No, or you should have tried that. Then we go back up. Yeah! Okay, so that's frozen completely now. I can't move it up, right? That's done. So there's no way to do it this way. This, this is a bust. I agree, dog. Also frozen. Same thing as last time. Hold on. Is there something about the rules I don't understand? No, there isn't. I'm just trying shit now, sorry. Why does that one seems to get more moves? I don't understand.
fuck? Why? Why? Why do you get why do you get frozen so quickly? God damn it. Why are you froze? Yeah, that's that works, man. Why does I don't understand? Why does this get fro four, but the other one doesn't get any? Is it because this one moves down at the same time? I don't understand. I don't understand the rules. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I go right, I go right again, now it's starting to freeze, I go right again, I go down, now this is starting to freeze, all, like, immediately. Why? Why is that one not starting to freeze as well? I understand this one, now there's an empty space here, but why, why does this one start to freeze? I don't, I don't get it. Okay, is there a way to do this faster? here who cares about this one no this 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 puzzle doesn't make any sense to me see this time it got more than one move What? I don't I don't understand the puzzle. Good job, Sigma. I I straight up don't understand the puzzle. I don't understand why that worked. Why did the ice cube just get more moves that time? I don't understand the puzzle. Good job, Sigma. Open it up. We should be able to get the ice cube now. All right, it's frozen to the bottom. There's a big ice cube. It's got a, a, a card of some kind. Looks like it's about the same size as a credit card. How do we get it out? Maybe we could throw it against the wall or something. No, it might be damaged cards. So you just want to wait until it melts. That would be a faster way. Let's put it in, in the warm drawer. Okay. Put the ice cube in the warm drawer, right? Probably melt eventually. Waste of time. Just stick it back in the dolly. No, let's just pour it under the water. It'll melt really fast under the water. Oh, do you hear that? It's probably warming up right now. 
should probably keep an eye on it. Sounds like it's done. Open up and have a look. Hey, look, the water from the ice melted. Ah, hot. The card is under the water. Okay, here it goes. All right, let's take this water and put it in here. It's basic water. Are you okay? Just kidding. Dick move. Visitor ID. It says visitor ID. Wouldn't be like something. We use to activate something. Probably activate this, right? Okay, so close it. Thank you. All right, now let's use the thing on here. So the card slot below the monitor. All right, slide this baby in. Yeah, go for it. Hey, what's going on? Looks like it's on now. Why is the screen red? Do you think something's wrong? Wait, it says something. Number of ration boxes in insufficient. Please rectify. Content of acidic, acidic water vessel incorrect. Please rectify. Content of neutral water vessel incorrect. Please rectify. Content of basic water vessels incorrect. Please rectify. R really? Okay, is it just in the wrong order? I think neutral was here, wasn't it? Shit. Oh, no, it's it automatically does it. Okay. All right, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this material. Okay. Beauty products, base neutral acid. All right, ionized drinking water. <sighs> really? How is neutral wrong then? Hold on. Does it start at four? There's no way. How do we get up there then? I'm confused how how zero doesn't count as as neutral and we really can't test it okay can we pour it into the beaker Okay, can we pour it into the beaker here? And then test it? So this beaker. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. The pH detection chemical worked. It's sort of yellow-green. Well, going by the pH color scale we got, it looks like the pH of the solution is six. Hmm, this is the, the water you got from the zero button, right? Right, the water you got when you press the zero button had a pH of six, right? That would mean, so if you push the plus one button, you get pH seven. Okay, why would it start at six instead of seven? That's kind of weird, just to be difficult. All right, that's fine, yeah, maybe. Maybe, we should try plus one now to make sure it's seven. Maybe they're just completely random. Maybe they mean fucking nothing. All right, so this this is slightly basic. So that means um, zero can go in the basic ones. So hold on, let's check. No, it's slightly acidic. Um, so would minus three be it? Ionized sounds pretty good. 
So let's let's try plus seven and see, or plus one and see. Dump. Plus one. Let's see if this is seven. You can swallow water. Got pressed in the plus one button. After the you the chemical, the water turned green. This appears to be the water pH of seven or potable water. All right, so neutral is plus one. All right, so let's go over to neutral. All right, let's use this one and let's dump it. Okay, it's on plus one. All right, let's put it in. All right, and now let's go and put it in and make sure that we're doing this right. Okay, so hey, is this the right water you want? Number Awesome, they all have to be in. Okay, so it's only giving me problems then, so it, they didn't all have to be in, okay. It's only giving me problems. All right, cool, all right, so basic. So I'm gonna guess we need plus three for the basic water then. Let's go put it in C. Okay, and acidic we want minus three? Didn't we already try minus three for the acidic? I mean, I guess it wants four then, so minus two. Let's try minus two. Hooray! All right, so now we need to get ration boxes. How do we get those? Can we take some stuff off? Okay, I'm not a fan of this room so far. It's kind of clunky. All right, so 113. These numbers, I can go over and open those boxes. I have to click on them specifically. Hold on, what did it say? January 13th. So, wouldn't it be over here? Am I not right? I already tried these. Why are these missing? How many did she say there were? Is this a whole year? This is the calendar. Does it match with the, what we have? Let me look at the calendar. Yeah, okay. So it would be this one here. A, B, C, D, E, E2. No? Game, I don't know what you want from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. I don't know what you want from me. Did I miss something that opens these up?
Does this work? Oh, okay. So I want um, one, two, three, E, and shit. What I say? Two? No. Was it F? A, B, C, D, E. It was January 13th? Oh, it's E3. Not, not E3, not E2. Sorry, I forgot about this one up here. So it's E3? 1, 2, 3, E3. I think it's E3. One, two, three, E, three. Okay, there we go. All right, sorry. It's a little confusing. There, did it work? Look at the shelves, huh? The shelves, the drawers, whatever you want to call them. All right, so this one can go in. Oh, I didn't take it. Picture meat gets a kind of ration, a ration. They're preserved food that they can keep a very long time since they hand them out in the army. You know what's inside? It might be more accurate to call this a ration box. Oh man, let's get this out on the tray. So in here is some meat that's been processed and preserved. I would imagine so. Hey, did we see someone like that kind of like somewhere else? You know, that reminds me of the machine on the dolly. Maybe this needs to be put in one of the cubbies. Okay. Okay, so five, seven, three, twenty-seven. March 27th, May 7th, July 30th, and November, November 11th. Okay. <sighs> this is kind of tedious. So, 327, 5, 7, 7, 30, 11, 11. All right, so let's do uh, 27th of March next. So that's January. This is February. Ooh, it's a leap year. This is March. March 27th is a B27 on one, two, three. B27, one, two, three. Two? Was it on the second one? No. Three? Last one, sorry, 13. So 13 and it's B, sorry. No, last one's 14. 14, last one, all right, last one. And it's B. There we go, okay. Look, another one just popped out. Great fishables. Okay, next one is 5th of July. Sorry, 7th of uh 7th of 
May. Seventh of May. April, May, 7th of May is here, right? So, 4, 5, 6, A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? A7 on 4, 5, 6. There we go. Come on, drawer. This sucks. Ration box with salad on it. Great vegetables. Alice seems to think maybe we should insert into the machine on the dolly. Okay, and the next one is... 30th of July. Um, so 30th of July would be on this one, 789. So A again one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. Soup. I was thinking maybe we should insert into the machine on the dolly. Okay. And 11 11. 11. Eleven, eleven. So last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six down. What the fuck is the golden file in here? Oh, that makes five. Come on, let's do this. December 24th, wasn't it? So A and then the last one but up. Really? Weren't we abducted the day before Christmas? That's odd. Ration box to pass on it. Seems to be inserted to Dolly. Okay, let's try actual Christmas Day then, just in case. So that would be the, the same down here, last but one, but it would be B instead of A. Okay, I thought it was Christmas Eve when we got when we got um, abducted, or is or did it just ticked over? Okay, it was Christmas Day. All right, I thought it was Christmas Eve. The screen's blue now. Do you think we could possibly be it? Yeah, it's probably the safe password. That's good, right? Well, it's one problem. The screen shuts off after some amount of time. No, no, I need to be fast. I can do it. I've got a really good memory. All I need to do is a, is a moment. All right, so star, moon, sun, star, moon, sun. Well, did you memorize it? Indeed, I did. Slot the way up here. Phew, what a relief. This is safe, right? AB room. Yep, password. Yep, so star, moon, sun. Ha, it opens. Okay, so the order that these go in... Um, I mean, the colors. It's, it's just the colors, isn't it? Okay. 
Look at the screen. Yeah. Chart shows the nutrient, nutrient values that each staff member requires for the next five days. Rearrange the order of the ration boxes so they match these values. By dragging the box over another one, you can swap them. Right, let me give it a shot. Okay, this looks this looks well and balanced to me. This is fine. Oh fuck. This is okay, but it's not okay for the other days. All right, so there was a memo thing here about this. So if I switch that over, what do I get? Now we're fine on carbs, but not good on on protein and fat. All right, so let's uh, switch a salad out. All right, now we're over on protein and fat, but lower on carbohydrate. Okay, shit, wrong one. I don't get it. Come on. Okay, let's switch that out. Double fish. Now we're lower on carbs, but we're low on, uh, but we're too high on protein. Okay, need some fat. Just, just all fish. All the fish. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh man, so much protein. So much protein. All right, here, have two two things of spaghetti. All right, so we only get a protein and a fat away, so we don't want to drop a fish for a salad, I think. Fish for a salad. All right, that didn't do it. No, 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 didn't do it, didn't do it. Salad is like, does nothing. Does nothing. Um, let's take away another fish for some soup. No. Nope. All right. All right, so, carb. So, soup and fish are the exact same carbs, but soup is just one less protein and one less fat. Okay. What about spaghetti and fish? Spaghetti is two more protein. No, fish is more protein, but less carb. That makes sense. Okay, so what's something that's just protein and fat? Fine, we'll look at the thing. We'll look at the thing. Memory card. Oh, all right. So it's not making them all even, it's just make them, um, make them follow this, I guess. So it has to be a little over. On D, it has to be a little over. So A is already set. So this is fine. So if I match this, right? Yeah, okay. So the next day has to look shit. So the next day has to look like uh, this one. Okay, coming back to this sucks. So I need to take away one carb, one protein, and one, two, three, four carbohydrate. Or this is carb, sorry, and, and, and four fat. So four fat, one protein, and one carb has to be dropped out of it. So what is the highest fat content? The highest fat content is, is this. So if I drop that and that, oh, this has none. All right, so if I drop that and that, a soup, a soup and a whatever the fuck this is, then I have the, the thing done. But I can also drop a fish and a spaghetti. And if I do that, what am I adding back to it in order to get to get it to get it back up there? Maybe I have to drop more than one and bring it back with the other one. 
Okay, this sucks. This this actually sucks. All right, so <laughs> let's uh, should we write it down so we can look at the memo instead of coming have to come back to this all the time? So this is this is just meat, right? So m meat equals um x x x x x x x fish equals x x x x x x uh salad equals x x x and then absolutely zero down here spaghetti x x x x x x i'm so hungry and soup i haven't eaten today man all right one all right so that's that's what we have all right now a equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten is the line. All right, ten and eight. B equals seven, nine, four. C equals eight, ten, nine. D equals eight, eleven, nine. And E equals nine, ten, ten. Nine, ten, ten. Okay, have I made a mistake? That looks like an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is ten. So I can minus it. So it's eight, ten, eight. All right. That's ten. So this is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. That's nine. That's four. That's eight. That's nine. That's ten. That's eight. That's eleven. That's nine. That's nine. Ten. Ten. Okay. I think. I think it's right. I think that's right. Joe can't do quick math. What? What is the quick math I'm missing out of here, man? This room straight up sucks. All right. All right. I don't understand my reference. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right, so right now, this is 8108. This is 8108 right now, and I need to take away one from the first, and I need to take one away from all of them, and then another another three from, from fat. All right, so what is the best way of doing that? Um, if I take away the meat, I have to add something else that adds the protein back. I feel I feel like once I get one day locked in, the other ones will fall into place a little a little faster. Is there an easier day to do than, than day B? So if we just add, if we add one one carb and one fat and two fat, we're done on E. All right. So is there a way? Is there anything that doesn't add protein? No. There's nothing that doesn't add protein. So we need to take some protein away and then we need to add it back. Soup has two protein, really? Soup has more protein than 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 spaghetti. Wow. 
What kind of what kind of soup is this? Okay, am I going about this all wrong by trying to change it instead of just trying to work out what combination of these five could could become this? Instead of like trying to tweak eight ten eight, should I just be trying to make whole new ones? What is what is five of these that equals to this? Right? So what is five that turn into turn into nine? And they don't have to be in fact they, they by by design they have to double up on at least some of them. Right? So What about two salads and the rest? Two salads would be one, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's not gonna do it. And this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that's it. So two salads and drop a soup. So replace a soup with a salad. Does that get us what we want? Drop a soup for a salad. All right, so nine, nine, seven, nine, nine, seven. All right. No, we want nine, ten, ten. So that fixed the car, but it didn't fix the protein. Okay, this is actually pretty complicated or I'm overthinking it or missing an easy way to do it. Maybe there's only one way to get each of them. What's the maximum amount of fat we can have? 15? 15 is the max fat, because we have a three, and that's also protein. If we drop the meat, what would what would what's the maximum we could get? Five fish would be ten. Fifteen. What if we dropped, dropped the spaghetti for a meat? Carb, okay. And now we want to get, drop some one protein for some extra, for two extra carb and two extra thing. No, I don't know how to do this, sorry. This is a, this is above me. And my liberal arts degree. This is way above me. Oh, shit.
That's pretty close to that one, actually. That's pretty close to B. Is where I could drop one, two, three, four, one, one fat, and two carb for one protein. Oh, that's one. That's C. That's done. That's 8, 10, 9. 8, 10, 9. So I have to just move this over to C. So D just needs to move over to C. Right? That's the same. Oh! Okay, then. Okay. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it would tell me when it was right. I, I wish it would. I wish it let me know. I thought I had to hit check and everything. It was gonna be really fucking okay. All right, I just solved the shit out, shit out of this puzzle. Are you getting a little too excited? Yeah, it's just freaking me out. Uh, do you see the screen? Star, star, sun. This looks like the password from the AB room in the infirmary. You did it. Now we can open the safe. Piece of cake. All right, let's see what we got. The first is a map. It says floor B. The one we found in the infirmary, floor A. Yeah, so do the the lounge. Then that would make floor A top floor right. I mean, you rode the elevator down to get here. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's keep cooking. There's a lot of stuff in here. There must be. Okay, so I am willing to admit that I'm too dumb for that puzzle, but I also think it's a shit puzzle because it's hard to see all of the refer the 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 important um, information that you need all at once, and you have to like go to different screens and shit constantly. And I don't like that. If you could have it all in front of you on different papers, maybe it would be better. Um, but the way it works in the game is kind of like yeah, whatever. I, I don't I don't really like the the switching between screens or anything like that. Key cards. We have moons on them. Then these have to be the cards the announcer was talking about. We got two of them, just like the sun keys. You take one clover, huh? Why? Well, you're solo, right? Else I only need one. All oh, right, got it. Left key. So nothing else. Yeah, it must be. So take it out of here. Waiting for it. Let's go. This is the exit. It's locked. All right, here we go. Okay, do it. Three, two, one. All right, we did it. We did it. We got out of there. Gate has been opened. Uh oh. Anyway, we are way over time because that just took me fucking forever. So let's save it. And we will continue tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Sorry if that was tedious. Um, continue tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm really hungry. I'm going to go have some food. Oh man. I'm really thirsty too. Thank you for any subs or bits anyone gave. Thank you very much. Hope you like the new emotes. I'll catch you tomorrow.